Ray Coward. I know. <laughs> I even messaged him earlier. I was like, you gonna be ready later? He's like, mm -hmm. yeah, we're in pocket right now, but we should totally be there by 10. <laughs> sure. All right, right. Let's, let's do this. I gotta find uh, a bonfire. Run. I'm, I'm giving you running. I'm running. I'm listening. Run uh, I'm listening. Ow! I, I cast Sad. bonfire. Ah! How many of you guys have watched Lost? Dope. Can hear you over the odd dad sound in a second. To, it's just me. I'm the only person that's watched Lost. <laughs> oh, apparently. Yeah. Then yeah, nobody's well. gonna get how like every time that we start this and we're gonna do like the Lost thing. Because anytime they like recap an episode, they're like, previously on Lost. <laughs> previously on Water Deep Dragon Ops. Uh, the party they time. actually do that on a lot of things. I yeah. saw it on Lost first. Okay. Like tons and tons. On Dragon Ball Z. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I'm right there with Anthony you Dragon Ball Z. You don't get the, the cadence of like how he says it. Previously on Avatar. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> okay, hold on. You guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for ruining your intro. <laughs> I'm not gonna ruin all this. <laughs> oh. So wait, since I did not know I could swap out spells, can I like take a second to look at those to see if there's any I want to swap out? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I think I think I'm probably good. I also got Healing Word, by the way, um, which is probably handier than Goodberry, but yeah, uh, that, I like my medicine. So. Yeah, that would have been good. Uh, you know what? But, but he couldn't have kept doing healing word all the way. I mean, you're right. You're right. That's true. We used good berry like four very, times. Very it was very good. Berry. Hold on, I have to make. Hey, hey, don't. I heard that. I only used healing word as many times as I was allowed to, and then you caught me like just as I was about to try to cast it the wrong, cast it a third time. <laughs> I knew it. So, so like it, there, there, yeah. no addition, no, no HP were falsely attributed. Good, de good dungeon master, sir. Okay, so can I only use? Yes. Uh, okay. You can only use good berry. With those prepared spells, I guess the level one spells. Can I only cast like one of those one time a day, or can I cast like any I mean, one cast... three times? Or yeah, that one. You can cast any one of them any amount of times, as many as you, as long as you have the spell slots for it. And in order to see the slots, you can look at your character sheet in D and D Beyond or in Row Twenty, and it will record your slots. Yeah, it has like little boxes right above, like right beside your leveled spells. You just go over and click on them whenever you use one. Okay, how the fuck did I learn all these spells? So I sure as hell wouldn't study. Uh, you're, you're Druid, you just kinda know them. I mean, you're, you're bound for to that the, matter, uh, nature. I, I just picked up spells. And I'm a ranger, yeah. bro. I'm gonna change... I picked up spells too and I'm a monk. Despawned out for fairy fire? I, I can think? cast these hands. Fairy <laughs> fire is really good. Yeah, it's really good. See, I, I say I say minus spells because technically I can only do it twice per short rest, so it's like spells. Um, so, fairy fire just gives something advantage, right? It makes it more visible, pretty much. It makes it, it so makes... it's visible if it's invisible, and all of us, mm -hmm. if, we're, if we're attacking it, all of us have advantage on attacking it if we attack it. Yeah, but if you cast it and like, say you cast it on a dude that was like right here in between all of them, you would also get Ander, Markham, and Dewarn at that. Yeah, because it's both. Um, something, oh, else, something else to remember you can upcast spells meaning you can cast a level 1 spell with a level 2 slot if you need to but you cannot go the other way you cannot cast a level 2 as a level 1 or anything and some spells yeah. have bonuses for upcasting them with higher power yeah okay so that's cool you know it fucking sucks Back I don't you. think you can... women oh <laughs> <laughs> unless like I'm stupid and I've like, never really looked it up heavy breathing I'm also uh, going to swap out Crater Story Water for Entangle. I think that will be it. Sorry, I just want to let you know for all. Sure. Sounds good to me. 
Yeah. I usually assume that you can just use whatever spell you have on you at the time, you know? Ooh, you like that big rules, I like it. Nah, I just, I don't know. I trust you. I'm just kind of cool uh, like that. Uh, yeah, I'm a cool uh, uncle. You want to come to my place and have some beers, little 16 year old? Like, 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 like your nephew. Like, not like. <laughs> like you're the cool uncle. <laughs> that is the joke there. I just need to clarify. I realized how it sounded. I realized how it sounded. The six year old would probably out drink you. No, not six. <laughs> I said 16 year old. Okay. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. But you can't hold it as good. Alright. It, it will have all of it. That's not true. When I was 16, I could drink without a problem. Well, you, you had a problem. Nobody told you. Have you, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you considered that maybe, just maybe? <laughs> nope. Uh, okay, I so I can have six spells. Is that fine? Is that my no. correct amount? No, you get. I mean, you get like, what, three cantrips and three first level spells? Yeah, then you said I got three more, I think. Well, then you have to have second level spells, doesn't he? No, he don't get himself to level 3. Oh, level 3, right? Gotcha. Yeah. Huh? Yep. That's what I thought last time, too. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, Grant. I'm coming. Okay. You know, so, All this right. is just, like, what you... This I'm is... I'll sleep by the time we actually start. <laughs> um, oh, my God. My DVD will fucking go crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that tonight. I'm still sipping okay. on coffee. Hold up. Hold up. I'm just going to stream my screen so you can look at it. Screen stream. I don't want it. It's too painful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, this... you don't need to show us your peener like that, man. That's not cool. Too late. Too late. Wait, wait, hold on. I need to over. <laughs> Where are you at? Do I need to pull up my manage thing? I mean, you can go over that that one spot uh, right beside uh, the where, place where you can search your spells. That's where you can manage your spells, left like right here. Yep. Huh. Can't three. Yep, first plus six. Alright, yep, you're good. Okay. Nah. What happened last time, DM? Now that Grant knows how to do spells. Hey, 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 I told you I, I did it. I wasn't built for this. Previously, a water deep dragon. Uh, the party found themselves in the entrance to Xanathar's Guild hideout in their endeavor to rescue the man Flume, who, in a case of mistaken identity... Oh shit, I fucked up my notes right this. In a case of mistaken identity, had captured Flume as opposed to their actual target, Rainier and Ever Emperor, who had come with the party earlier to help with their retrieval of Flume. After numerous skirmishes and the party being winded from the fights leading up to the entrance of the den boss, a certain Xanathar's Guild hideout. Uh, the half orc named Broomshar had been torturing Flume for various days in an attempt to save face within the guild as a representative had been sent to check in on the prisoner. Noticing a strange purple figure with two tentacles coming from its face, the group fought one last fight to help rescue the man called Flume. After some close encounters and some near death experience with a confused brain that was trying to take Merc. That I looked up later, and he would have had to have somebody come and pick him up off of one if he stayed in that body. So I was like, fuck that. Uh, you guys overcame everything and rescued Flume. After exploring the hideout, figuring out that a tunnel was just a room, that was it. There was nothing in there. The book <laughs> had nothing on that. Uh, you guys figured <laughs> out that... Sure. You guys figured out that there was a weird teleportation circle in there, but had no way of, like, activating it. I touched um, it. You did touch it. It was pretty cold. Um, after that, you found a secret tunnel connecting to a basement of some... You guys don't know this, but they're just little halfling people. Uh, upon emerging from the sewers and bringing Flume back to Volo, the author was overjoyed seeing his two best friends back in good health and safe. Uh, Volo, having slightly fibbed a bit about the reward, granted you a deed from his pockets. The deed to Troll Skull Manor. A decadent, abandoned, and possibly haunted, it's haunted, tavern that was located <laughs> in the north ward of Waterdeep. Getting the documents in order to the new... Getting... Okay, hold on. I 
suck at typing sometimes. Getting the documents in order to the new owners of the mansion, Rulik, Merkham, and Andrew. They met the former barkeeper of the tavern in, back in its glory days, Life. The promises of restoring and opening the tavern back to open to the public has appeased the poltergeist for the moment because he was being a bastard. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's where <clears throat> we're at. So we but, now have the deed to an inn? Yep. Yep. Oh, heck yeah. Not really an inn. It's kind of like a tavern. It would be an inn if there was like more rooms, but kind of there's just enough rooms for like you guys, really. Okay. All right. So, so his name is Life? Words, yeah, I was saying Leaf. It's like L I F. I like Leaf better, but whatever. L is it L I F or L Y F? L I F. <laughs> Leaf. So wait a second. I got the highest roll this time. Does that mean I'm DM now? No. That just means you're going to fight somebody first. I'm down. Who we fighting? But. Oh, that Tarasque over there. Mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna like, kind of like a little cutscene. This is more for like you guys. Uh, we are in Neverwinter right now. Um, there is a. Gnomish man and a noble looking figure dressed in darks out in the night. This music is kind of loud. Hold on. There. He is, they're both dressed in like darks. Uh, we see, because us in our mind's eye, as us people, we see the noblish man hand the gnome a something. Something kind of looks like a stone. Hands it to him, says, I've heard. Some people helped out my son in, uh, in Waterdeep. Maybe they can know what to do with this this trinket. Find them. Give it to them. Now, we're back at the house. What are you guys doing? You know, Alon, I really like the name you came up with. Um... Do you think we need paint to put it on the... Is there a sign? I didn't even see if there's really a sign. Is it a plaque? You mean thoughts and prayers? No, esprit de corps. The one you mentioned earlier. Oh, esprit de corps. Yes. <clears throat> Does anyone have any paint? Life. They're playing with our trays. Uh, I have a <clears throat> question. Answer. Where's my Where's my room at? In this In this picture, I took uh, the top room. I want the tallest room. So, I would say honestly, is it this one right here? In, there is. That's a turn. <laughs> that's just like I don't really know what it is because it doesn't really have like a thing on there. I just assume it's like a lookout kind of thing. How do you get to it? I'm a monk, uh, bro. It doesn't matter how I get to oh, it. Probably this, this door, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, so which which room in this picture do you think would be the top room by itself? Are we thinking like this room or here? Personally, I kind of see it oh. as like a one, two, uh, three, Well, like four. I see this is like the, like this is like the first level. This is the higher, then you'd go up the stairs to here to the higher level. Yeah, the, this is the first floor, the one that you guys are on. This is the second floor, third floor, and this is the attic. Which one's the attic? The one that you're at. Okay, so the attic is the top? Yep. Okay, uh, yeah. I'll and these are windows here? Whoops, let me switch over. Maybe you're in... Are these windows? Yeah, those are windows. Maybe the you're in... The thinner ones are windows. I think those you, doors, you might obviously. be in a different layer, Matt, because I didn't see any of your pings. Mine or his? His. There we go. I see it now. Yeah. So this yeah. one, I'm in the attic, so. Yeah, this is so, first floor, second <clears throat> floor, third floor, attic. Yeah, There's right. also a cellar over here. I don't live in the attic. Can I have my room in the no, attic? No, you're in, you're in the cellar, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm the king. I'm, it's, no, I'm no, no. King. You're in the cellar. That's where the rats yeah. would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's where the, the rat king goes. So. I'm the king of rats. I'm the king of rats. I would say... 
Are there rats in the cellar? Uh, yeah, you see like one or two rats. Let's go. We're home. I told you that that's, right, that's where you need to be. Like you need place. to you need to make your 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 den there. You need to put your chair. You gotta have your rats. I mean, that's totally your room, bro. I have a good cabinet. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Write them down. Good job. So you guys can go pick out a room if you want. Uh, I can show you the bedrooms. Like, this is a bedroom. This is a bedroom. This is a bedroom. Where Munson's at's bedroom. Uh, is this a are... bedroom, or is this one the bedroom? This one's the bedroom. Okay, this good. one's storage. Okay, that's where I put all my silver bars. Perfect. Um... Common room, den. This is just a hall. That's a spare room. This is the master bedroom. That's where Dwarren goes. You said this is a bedroom. That is a bedroom, yeah. I think Dwarren should get the master bedroom. I'm actually okay over here. I don't know if anybody has a problem or wants to trade or anything. Well, I just figured you'd be in the master because you're the political man who guides us to success. If he's in, uh, if he's in this room, he has access to the tower. So here's my question: completely he unrelated. Be, to this he stuff. might be too big for the tower. Is this the basement? Uh, the basement where yeah. Rulix yeah. at in the bottom right. This is an L cellar, and this is a wine cellar over here. Actually, and you access the basement the from These here. Right yep, that's a hatch to the basement. Can I move? Can I move my bed down here? You put it like right over here. I like how you just labeled it Rubik. <laughs> uh, you have two private bathrooms. There's one right there, one right beside the one. There's a preview. Dude, right here. that's a beautiful E. So, going up to check out the room that I'm in, what can I see out these windows? Because there's two uh, to the north and two to the west. Um, you see a couple buildings. Some of them kind of look like run down, uh, abandoned and stuff. I'm trying to see. There's nothing really important about like those two windows over here. This okay. way. You see You see a mostly just a building. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, you just see another house, another manor looking building. Okay. Behind it, you think you kinda see a shop. But really I think you'd have too much of your view obstructed by the building in front of it. Okay. What time of day is it right now? I mean, it's it's after high noon because you guys came over here after you had met with the magister, magistrate. Okay. Because I'm also super bad at explaining. Uh, magistrates are like, kind of like the judges of the city. Right. Uh, they're always dressed in blacks, like black robes and stuff. So you don't know the magister when you see it. We'll be able to say, here come the men in black. Good. Here come men in black. My teeth. Anyway, uh, what is a reaction? Tequila. It's something in, in combat. Usually. Okay, so like, is it just whenever someone moves, like for opportunity of attack, stuff, or attack of opportunity shit? Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Is it literally just then? Because it says I can use my reaction, and I don't yeah. know. Unless like, oh, never mind. It, it just fucking tells unless me you have sleep. like some things that like are specifically a reaction, like wizards have shield, tieflings have uh, yeah. hellish rebuke and stuff well, like that. This literally just says to one creature I can see when it moves within ten feet of you or starts this turn there. So, as it turns out, I just don't have eyes. So my bad. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, so, what you guys doing? Finding your rooms? I'm going to impolitely ask Dewar if he will move the bed down into the cellar. If I'll move but the like, bed I'm going to say please. I'm well, just you gonna guys have, have no beds right now. 
Like, there uh, was hardly any furniture in this place. Okay, I'm gonna take a chair down there, then. Well, gentlemen, it seems we have uh, a lot of work to do here, and I have a personal objective I need to to see to. Um, do we need to go uh, buy some things, both for personal use and for the shop? Um, oh, um, wait, I'm too far away. I would have an answer for you when I'm too far away. Also, um, the, uh, the, the man, um, Rainier, he, uh, he's, him and, uh, Volu mentioned guilds that maybe would be beneficial for us to look into. I have a list written down here, I believe. Oh, yeah? What, uh, names are on that list? Uh, he named, uh, six, and a seventh I have written down, of course, is the Xanathar's Guild. I think there's another I'm missing that I'm forgetting who the Xanathar's were, uh, fighting against. But, anyway, um... I have written down here the Harpers, the Zentarim, the Lords of Alliance, the Emerald Enclave, Force Grey, and the Order of the Gauntlet. And I have one that I am particularly looking at. Hmm, I'd like to know more about that <clears throat> Emerald en Enclave. Those are a bunch of uh, druids, protectors of the forest and the dead, and those type of things. Interesting. Uh, you, you gentlemen, do whatever you feel is uh, interesting or correct. I am going to pursue the Harpers, I believe. I think they will have the most uh, potential for helping me and my leads. I also like the Harpers. I think. Wait, what did... Yeah, uh, what? Clarify. Hold up, this those... is Relic's rat room. <clears throat> <clears throat> the, the, those aren't guilds or anything those are like various factions throughout the city gotcha. the guilds he was telling you about uh he said he set up a meeting with one of them or he'll set up a meeting with one of them in like the next day or two. <clears throat> they're like an entirely different thing altogether okay so guilds are different than factions yeah uh ander where's your room uh my room um whoa i already wrote shit down don't be copying bro <laughs> basement Fire. of rats right Oh uh, God. let's see. Hey. You're killing me there, small fry. Hey, hey you, you guys see this right here? I'm level three, so you guys can suck it. I think I kind of like the idea of, uh... This one being mine. This room. Back here. Okay. That's level two. Okay. <clears throat> We're just writing them all out, so we actually have... This space. Written down so we remember. Is this a balcony? Where at? On two. Looks like uh, it to me. Yeah. Alright, I'd like that room. The den? <laughs> oh, is that a den? Yeah. <laughs> you there could totally a... make that a room. Yeah, it's, it's... Yeah, I mean, you could. The room's a room, There dude. is a master bedroom over here. There's a library over here. Uh, I'd prefer to just stay as close to the ground as I can. Yeah, you guys... And the balcony is really nice. Yes. You guys don't know this, but uh, Dave's taking this room to be, kind of be off to himself in a tight little room. It's where he's comfortable at. But I'm also looking at the 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 spire that I can have access to, and I can jump. I can totally just jump out these windows down to the balcony on the, on the floor. So, uh, lawn, you're taking this area. Yes. Is it just this or this? It's like this. All of the deal. Okay. <clears throat> and those are like all uh, windows, wait. like surrounding the the little spire area. So you're like in the room of the sun. Oh. <laughs> yes, I will curtain off all of that. <laughs> uh, you also have a private shooter over here. Best be buying some curtains then. You have a private shooter right here. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. There's also another one right here. I'm going to go uh, up and around and, uh, and just looking. I'm going to try to find uh, Gunthek, and I'm assuming I'll eventually find him. Oh, well, I told you when we walked in here that I was in. Uh, I was going to the attic to get my room done. Okay. Lon doesn't poop as far as he knows. Hmm. <laughs> 
Um, so what, going after so the you AI, know I'm at the top. Go, if it, finding my way as best I can to the top, I'm gonna uh, when I see Gunthek. Uh, Gunthek, are you uh, interested in any of the the uh, factions that uh, gentleman mentioned, Volo, uh, or you need to go get any supplies for yourself or anything? So you remember, <clears throat> Dorn, that we had silver bars, yes? You assume I remember things. I don't. Come on, political boy. Remember. So remember. we have we have silver bars. I took five. They're still on me in this like Leia thing across my chest. We should take all of our silver bars, go into town, sell them all, take the money to upkeep our building, and then go do things we need to do in town, like the bolos and check out the guilds and stuff. But um, we to... should sell. Ooh, you're our political our guy. Money. You have to say, I don't recall. So what, what did you uh, propose to do with that, that money? I, I was trying to follow. Um, trying to, uh, you know, beds, blankets, up, upkeep the, the place we are in. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely Stopping. agree. Each bar is valued at 50 gold, uh, approximately. So I do want to run something by you as well. Um, yes. Uh, Lon recommended a, a name or two for the, the establishment here, and I really like the Esprit de Corps. But now that you say it out loud, what do you think of the silver bar? Uh, I like it. This is an option. Do you have a preference? Most of our the most of our profit will be from the silver bars that we sell, <coughs> so that it would fit nicely. Okay. Well, I it's think I will head out soon. Uh, you can join me if you like, but just throwing yeah, that out there. I'll go with you. I just finished my meditation and I'll clean up the room and get it spiffy after we get back from upgrading. I'll see if the others are interested. Okay. I'll, I'll just head back downstairs. Yeah, I'm just gonna go bling, pretend I walked in. Hello, Lon. Or is it Lon? Is it Lon? Hi. You have a better name. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a better face? No, I'm a rabbit. It doesn't change. Yeah. yeah. Not for me. As far as you know, he's around. Anyway, I'm sure it works for you. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yes. Anyway, what? What name should I call you? Lon. Mr. Blue? Lon. L-O-N. Lon. Lon care? That's exactly what I was thinking. Lon. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. I haven't, I haven't actually really met you yet. This is my first time actually meeting you. Nice to meet you. Mm. I am Who fine. Well, well, everyone, uh, I am leaving to go in town and maybe transmute my silver mm. bars into gold, and I will uh, be buying some things. Does anyone want to come with? Uh, yeah, I'll join you. Sure. By the way, Lon, my name is Guntek. Nice to officially meet you. Nice to meet you, Gunthak. My name's Lon. Yeah, I know. Do you? Yeah. I'll forget it when I get back, just because I don't like the name. <laughs> I'll never forget that face for the same reason. <laughs> Good. Good man. Alright. So you guys head now? Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, is, is there anyone yeah, staying yeah, behind? Yeah. Uh, Merc is, obviously. Okay, Merc is going on. He's going to be at the entrance in a barrel of water, staring. Just make sure it opens the door. Yeah, <laughs> if anyone jumps in, it's her. Comes he's going to go up and look at this barrel <sighs> bathroom. And, like, there's still at least, like, the wooden tub in there. But there's no water in it or anything. And he's just going to be sad. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, he's that's... probably walk. He's probably oh, cleaning yeah, his that's, lizard. That's definitely that's definitely his room for sure. Just the bathroom, definitely... not even the bedroom, right there. No, no, no. The whole thing says, <laughs> but he only really <laughs> takes over the bathroom. Makes sense to me. We'll give him. Let's see, he's green. We'll give him a green. What green does this game give me? We'll go with a dark green. Sucks, cause like, you guys probably can't see like the, the letters and stuff that's on here. But I see like what first letters? floor. Mm -hmm. These. Yeah. Oh no. So you no, guys. I... 
I, j I put all mine in manually. Yeah, there's like someone wrote level one, two, three, and four. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's funny because you guys have put those like Gunthax room and fucking. <clears throat> You guys have somehow managed to put them over top of all the lighters, so it's like a jumbled mess on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could uh, just delete the one you did by hand. There is... I can't. Fuck them. Oh, shit. I deleted it. <laughs> okay, back. just hit, uh, just hit Control Z, I think it is, and it'll go back. Or Shift Z. Control Z? <laughs> Control Z. Control Z. Get to control the Z. Hold control, go. hit Z, and it should uh, undo what you erased. Ah, I don't know if it's there for you guys. Yeah, you fucked it up. It's oh, fine. Wait. It's all good. There it is. There it is, perfect. See? Alright. So, let's get off this. So, uh, you can just slide <coughs> and just click this and. <coughs> oh, never mind. Now you have control of it because you touched it last. All good with me. Um. Uh, oh, so don't readjust. Go over here. Oh darn. I'll just darkness. Do Is there darkness for you guys? Oh darkness. yeah. Darkness. Okay. Incredibly. The black darkness. is back. Me. All horror. that I see. Oh, Absolute horror. <laughs> I know that. I know that. Oh, right. I'm so you guys are over. Here. This is your house. Where? Wait, where? Right over here. Nothing's happening. Yeah, okay, there. I only see like a little portion of them. Are you in GM again, or? Yeah, there we go. Over okay. Here. Oh, yeah, the one with the tower? Green, that makes green, sense. Yeah. Hold yeah. that. Uh, I'll have to. What are the little red dots? Yeah, they're hidden, you don't know, bro. Yeah, they're people. I'm hiding them. Oh. <clears throat> hey, they're not enemies, bro. <laughs> don't uh, circle my good, shit. Good, because I have it memorized. <laughs> um, I'm fucking so moving it now. Can't walking out into the street, you look at the cobblestone roads. Um. Looking like directly straight across from you is the building that Markham, or not Markham, but the Warren was looking at. Um, right to the south of you, you see uh, a little, little simple shop. Uh, you see the sign sticking out of it says Corellian's Crown. And that's really all you can see from right in there. You guys don't have to actually go walk around. You can put your mini. So when we when we got here, um, did we by chance see a uh, blacksmith or anything like that near us as we walked to this place? Mm. Or should I roll like a history or something? No, not you don't really have to roll anything. I'm gonna say you guys did come in from like over this way. Well, actually, you would have came down from down south because you guys were in the lower section. Correct. So yeah, coming in, you seen right over here was a shop called Demon Steel. Alright, that's where we shall go first to Warren. Steel shop. Best place I'm to also, make company. So, who all stayed behind? Merkham. As far as I Okay. Anyone else can stay too if they want, but Merkham will stay in front until at least he gets here. Excuse me. He'll magically face through the wall. Right. Is anybody else staying? Does anyone have create water? A spell? I did. Cause that'd be a smart one to have for the house. Like, go oh, fill up his bathtub, create water. I actually just unlearned it for now. <laughs> or unprepared it, I guess. Okay. I guess uh, it might just be me and you going. I don't know. Is Andrew coming? I said or... I was going. Well, where's your fucking token at, bro? Hey, I don't, we don't need to have six fucking tokens on the board right yeah, now. Yeah, he said put your tokens down, fool. Ah, oh, damn it. I got you. I got you. Because you gotta realize we may not all go the same direction. See, now I can't move that one. Well, no, the DM put it down. 
I have no idea. Who's got me? I don't know. What's that? It worked. Nice. This is the same exact shit I was doing before. Turret so you can make sure your thing's on select move. Yeah, you might still be yes. in, uh, you might still be it on is. the tank move, style. Like I said, I can move the war. Okay. Just stop it. <laughs> All of us can move to war. <laughs> See, look, look, I can move to war around perfectly fine. Am I still getting the general, like, book where everybody can have me? I guess. Uh, yeah. yes, he put you under all. Sure. No, nice. You were, no, you I were the, oh, no. I, I might have done it. Oh, well, no, that's it. Rulik, just go in there. Because you pulled and... it, I went to pull it back, it clicked. Yeah, Rulik, just drag your token and put him in over here. Oh, that's good. what I was trying to do. It, it won't let me put it down. Again. I can feel better now. Remember, you gotta grab from like your name and drag it over. Yes, here. I did that a couple times, and it shows like the big ass token, and I put it down, and it does nothing. You know, if you just had, if you just had better internet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, sizes. I'm, I'm blood and gone. All right, I got you there. You're there. Okay, whatever. I'm going to the blacksmith shop with me. Alright, see so you guys. After Do you I have, uh, who all has bars on them besides me and Dorn? I have some bars. I don't remember if I took one or not. I do not think did so. I think against it because it seemed dumb. Glon, did you take some? I don't think so. I think there was 15, right? I took five. Dorn took five. Andrew took five. I took two. Somebody has three. I have five. We could have left as well. We'll just say Markham gave you the rest of them, so you guys have all 15 bars. Okay. I'm going to refresh and see if I can't place loops. Also, in case you forgot, Dwarren, you also have uh, couple paintings. Oh, I know. I got paintings. Dang it. I'm, I'm aware of that. Uh, so you guys head over to... Oh, there we go. I got it. Um, is the door open? Which... What's it look like? I mean, it's closed right now. It's... Wooden door. What time, yeah. it, what time of day is it? It's like after high noon. So yeah. like oh, I'm going in. One or two. Heading up to the door, you see the the sign outside. It's got like a anvil and hammer and stuff. Um, let me... You can delete the other token though, Matt. I refreshed it and it worked. You said steam and steel? Steam and steel. Steam and steel? Steam yes. and steel. The back of the foot again. What kind of bank is this? Hmm? <laughs> um, All I have is milkshakes. I think you <laughs> Thank you. Walking in, guys. Smoke and steam are billowing from the many windows around this indoor forge where <clears throat> metal weapons, armor, and tools are made. Uh, walking in, you see the what you guys assume is the smith because he's the one over there, like actually tending the steel and stuff. It is a fire genasi. Uh, across from him, you see a, another not not red or anything like that. He is a uh, a blue blue skin tone. From what you can tell, his hair kind of looks like seaweeds and stuff, but it is a water genasi. And he's just over there, like, stitching some leathers together to try to, like, get into a little leather suit made for somebody. He sees you guys walk in, he's like, oh, hello, welcome to the Steam and Steel. I'm A.B. Uh, that is my husband, Embrick, over there. He's just over there smacking the sword together, and he's just like, hey. Is there uh, anything we can help you with? Uh, yeah, I'm looking to sell some silver bars. Oh. As they see, I have five strapped across my body on the front. Ambrick, come here. All right, he walks over. Ambrick. Ambrick is the fire genasi, like the yeah. actual blacksmith that's in there. Uh, he walks over, he looks at the bars for a second. Uh, they look a little bit corroded there. Let me see it. You like, you guys hand him the bar. Uh, I'll hang on to my two for now. All right, he like takes it, takes a rack, like wipes off a lot of the grime and stuff on it. Ah, uh, ain't too bad. 
actually pretty usable. Uh, how many of these you got? Um, I have five. Five. Here's a, right. here's a picture of Ember, by the way. Hmm. Nice. Um, I'm not sure I'm selling mine, but I have two. And, uh, <coughs> uh what's his name? Uh, Ander, you have a couple. Are you looking to sell? Yeah, I have uh, all five. If the price is right, I'll sell all five. And Lon, I think you have the other five? <laughs> or three. You have yes. three? Sure. Three. Well, the Warren has two, so. Yeah, all together you guys present like 15. He's like, holy shit. Yeah, well, Dwar Dwarren's going to keep his for now, so we're going to say uh, 13 for the moment. Oh, 13. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can still use them. Um... 12. <coughs> 12. 12. All right. Less and less. Okay. Right. What about okay. this team of mine? I don't uh... know. You guys, what, you, you want to trade? You just want gold for it? Well, I want to kind of see what your your estimate value of what you wish to offer first. Mm, I mean, they are a little bit corroded. I mean, it, it, it's not going to take that much to actually get the salvageable metal from it. But, I mean, you got 12 of them. 45 gold apiece. How much? 45 apiece. Hmm. You've sold five. How much uh, do I know about silver and metalworking and that type of things? <clears throat> uh, how much would... Could a woodchuck chuck? <laughs> how much wood could a dwarf chuck? A woodchuck would chuck as much chuck. wood as a woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. What? Well, if you think about it, Dwarn, mm -hmm. in your backstory, would you really have been messing around with metal too much? No, I really don't think so. <laughs> so we're just going to go with, I mean, stuff's made out of it. <laughs> okay, bless you. Um, okay, I think that price is worthy of note. Um do what do you have for uh, for sale? Maybe we can work out a trade for a slightly better in-house value. How about? Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Dorn. My apologies. No, I was, I was waiting on the shopkeeper's response. Mm -hmm. You guys looking around? You can mostly just see metal weapons and armor and some shields. Basically, they sell all the metal weapons and armor from the player's handbook. So you're telling me there's a chance. Uh, do you sell hand crossbows? Yeah. yeah. You do? I've made a few of them. Uh, you know, and I don't like to brag too much. I don't like to talk about myself, but some people call me an expert weaponsmith. Really? Yeah. Some would say it is just decent sometimes, though. <laughs> but, it, but it all sells. <clears throat> Well, Embrick, I think you and I are going to become good friends. Are you going to take one of the hand crossbows? Depends on what they're uh, what they're valued at, sir. Masurp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, honey. Go talk on the phone somewhere else. I'm busy. <coughs> Alright, shoo her away sometimes. I put AV up too. And crossbow, right, they bye. are 75 gold apiece. 75 <coughs> gold apiece, eh? Okay, hold on. Let me ask you another question. Um, uh, I'm going to pull out my yeah. glaive off of my back. Um, how much material does it take to silver a weapon take me a day or something but i can silver it for you uh 
I mean, how much material does it take? Let's say you know, I put the glaive gently down on the counter, at least when it up against the counter, and I take out one of the silver bars I have. Could you take, say, half of the bar to silver the item and the other half is payment? <clears throat> yeah, I could do that. Give me a. Give me about a knot with it, and I should be able to take care of it for you. Okay, I think that would be acceptable. And I'll leave the glaive in my silver bar on the counter. <clears throat> so, how much was your crossbow, Andrew? Or hand crossbow? 75. Five. Um, I'm looking to get a silvered rapier if I could. I want a rapier. That'd be so cool. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no rapiers here. If you have a bar, I could take half the bar and do the same thing as I did for Dwarf. What's your average pricing to silver something? Well, he's giving me the other half of the bar so I could use it for other things. Uh, if you want yes, to do the same thing? I would like to use my one of my bars, one of my best of the five bars I have on me. And I would like to use it to silver a rapier, purchase a rapier with one bar. Value. <coughs> then if there's any remainder from that bar, you can keep the difference. Uh... Before we get too far into this, I just want to send this over to the DM. I'm ready. <laughs> the body's ready. What happened? Did you not? Did you not get it? I didn't get nothing. <coughs> I'm looking at the over here. There's no excuse for you. I send it in Discord. Nope. Unless I'm not looking at the rock. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> it's not here, I tell you. Oh, it's right there, obviously. Oh! <laughs> so. Actually. <laughs> Just thought actually. that might, might, might come into play here. So, I can silver your weapon. Uh, half the bar, you're still probably going to have to pay me about another 75 gold to do this. Damn. Uh, okay, then I'll pay. You, I'll I'll let you have two bars. You can have two bars. A bar and a half as payment, and a bar for or a half bar for material. <laughs> Roll persuasion. Heck yeah, dude! All right, yeah, yeah, I'll do that, and I'll have it done for you by the morning. Excellent. Oh yes, thanks to Anthony. Uh, to silver a weapon is a hundred gold. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I know the price. I didn't say you knew the price. <laughs> I paid six. What kind of a two thousand hours? What kind of stuff do we see, like on the walls, like weapons wise and stuff? Everything in the handbook. You see clubs, daggers, great clubs, hand axes, javelins, light hammers, maces. Quarter staff, sickles, spear. Uh, oh, of it in alphabetical order. Rulek, like, oh. you need you need whip. You need to get whips. Short a whip person, actually would be cool. Blade, no, I'm, I'm serious. I think I think you would work great with a whip. Caliber, bland, long sword, maul, morning sword, hot, right here. Can you get the spell thorn whip? Scimitar, short sword, trap. No, it's a can't trip, I mean. Bell or can't trip, can't trip. I love the DM just talking in the background as we're talking. <laughs> yeah. He's literally reading off the entire book, which you can yeah. in the book, so. Love you, dude. Logo. Crossbow. <laughs> hey, he's, a... <laughs> he, he's hit that poker rep flow. You just got to let it happen. Uh, let me see what it does. I think I've been convinced. Uh, did you say whip in there? Can you repeat that again? Yeah, <laughs> From the top. <laughs> Second well, verse. No, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, I, I appreciate yeah. your commitment. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a whip over there. Once more, same as before. 
I like the uh, I like the sound of the whip. So, <clears throat> what? I know that like a cleaver isn't like a real thing, but like, what would that? What do you think we would put that as? That would be either a dagger or a dirk or a short sword. I forgot like a big one. Kind of scimitar. Um... Not exactly, but. So Andrew, are you just selling? Are you just selling it's still alive, so I can still use that being small size. That'd be cool. Yeah, we can, we can play. Uh, it. yeah, Gunfack. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of wheeling and dealing. I got a crossbow and a short bow here that I don't really need. Um, I feel okay. like uh, I could I could <clears throat> get some more uh, out of a hand crossbow. Yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mm -hmm. And um, I figure while I'm at it, I might as well silver it. Okay. <clears throat> well, you silver in the, the dark. Yeah, I would because I'm using the hand crossbow. I'd have to silver ten ten darts. <clears throat> ten 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 bolts. Whatever. Bolts. Yeah, bolts. Whatever. Same idea. Um. Okay. So while Dwarn does does Dwarn's persuasion in this moment would that be a help to the team or just Dwarn himself? That's the question. Ooh. Ah. Uh, well, I think well, I, I, was... I think everybody, you know, he established that price for silvering in front of everyone. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And Warren kind of technically did pay for it with this two bars. Yeah, so what I would do is um, the same concept for the rapier. If you'll take the two bars, you can get the rapier and he will silver it for you. And get us over, yeah. Um, do I have anything I don't need? Well, I feel like it would be weird for Lon not to silver his mace at this point. <laughs> <All right. laughs> silver his mace, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, you have how many bars on you, Lon? Three? Three. Three. So you... Hey, I'm starting to feel like I should have taken some silver. <laughs> well, we offered it to you, but you had to like a little weakling, so... <laughs> You did say specifically a lot of times, I am a goblin, I shouldn't be carrying this much stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah it's true. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm a rabbit have, carrying listen, the most. I have 53 pounds of shit on me, I weigh 33 pounds. That's dumb. That doesn't make any sense. I'm still going with it, but like... Well, I actually, I never got encumbered, so it's pretty cool. I actually have it right here, you said, and I quote, I hate nice things. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I just like rats, in all weird ways. <laughs> I have fleas. Oh, yeah, by the way, like, wherever you guys look at Rulik, he is, like, filthy and covered in oh, fleas. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they're, 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 like, pulling around my feet. I, was, I, was, I, I, like, I gathered he feet. looked pretty yeah. fucked up. I will, uh, yeah. press his digitation so much. <laughs> no, no, we gotta leave him dirty. I try to do it and nothing just comes out. <laughs> <laughs> you do it and he gets dirtier. <laughs> you should. Okay, so that's why, so... Actually, that's why I have all the fur on my pauldrons. I don't know if you can, like, tell by my picture, but that is, like, you know, that's a thing. They all stay in the little pauldrons. Um, oh, I, so I, I, I guess where you just Italian. Uh, and are you, are you keeping <laughs> the third one, or are you going to plan to sell? So, uh, for the remaining... Well, so, let's let's sort this out. Um, Embrick, I have this uh, light crossbow here, and... Um, Anders sort of unshoulders a crossbow, and I also have this short bow, and uh, uh, sort of also against his back is a, uh, a a backpack which he undoes and pulls out the short bow. Um, how much? How much? If I were to sell you these used uh, used tools, uh, for both of them, it'd probably be about twenty six gold. Okay, twenty six gold. I think I'll go ahead and take you up on that. And while we're at it, um, let's see here. So 45 and 45, that's 90. It's going to cost about 100, so three. How about I give you three of these silver bars, four of these silver bars, you keep the 26 gold you were going to give me for these uh, uh, tools, and you give me a hand crossbow and silver 10 of these bolts for me. And I also get into my quiver and hand you 10 bolts. 
shield. What exactly does silvering a weapon do? Uh, so some enemies, like werewolves and stuff, they cannot be hurt by anything that, like, physically, they can't be hurt by anything that is, like, non-silvered. Yeah, there, there are certain monsters, so, like in their stat block, it says it has to be hit with a magical or silvered weapon. Yep. Basically, think, okay. uh, th think Witcher. We have to have silver weapons sometimes. Yes. Is yep. so a scorpion whip. I remember there was a thing in uh, Pathfinder the last time I played. It was like a whip that you could actually use to like grab shit. I don't figure you can do that with like a normal whip, can you? Okay. You say you can with a normal whip? I say you can. It'd oh, be like a, yeah. It'll be like a. Uh, <clears throat> you'd have to do a check for it or something, but you can do it. Oh, yeah, 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 but still. So approaching the counter again, um, uh, Avi, uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, are, are, is it you or Embrick who is the most uh, technically apt? Well, Embrick kinda. You know, he does do a lot of the forging and stuff, but you know, it does take a little bit of nimble fingers to get these suits of armor made. Well, uh, let me ask. Well, I guess either of you. And I'm going to lay the schematic that I have on the counter and kind of unroll it carefully. Do either of you have any idea what this is? What it could be used for? What it's even made of? Let's come over and look at it for a second. And like unison, they're like, I have no fucking idea what that is. Hmm. Me either. Bro, what the fuck is this? Where'd you get it? <laughs> you got it from Zoblob's job. Yeah, that's just what they said. Uh, yeah, well, well, maybe maybe one day, and I'll roll it back up and put it in my bag. Sorry, I no earthly idea what that could be. <clears throat> How's for that? I'm gonna point it like a scimitar, I suppose. If you wanted to, we can say that like there's a big cleaver type thing. If you want it, yeah, I mean, absolutely, I do. But like. Yeah. Uh, but, but it would be the same thing as the scimitar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, for that big hunk of thing, that's uh, about 25 gold. Is that just something, Andrew? What about 20? So, roll my gold. <laughs> Alright, sweet. It's perfect. Mm, gotta stick to my prices. I am going to rummage through my bag and see if I have anything that might be worth trading or selling. I'm not getting rid of the sign stone for sure. While you're looking at Rulik, let me ask you, gentlemen, do you know uh, where the best place would be to fetch a couple of potions, maybe a healer's kit? Oh, let me find my book. <laughs> somehow lost it. There it is. Uh, yeah, you just want to head over to Carillion's Crown. Falaz over there, they can help you, uh, they're a member of the Apothecaries and Physicians Guild. Carillion's Crown, okay. Thank you. Carillion's Crown. Carillion's Crown. Does that make uh, sense, Andrew? Uh, Gunthag, it does, it does make sense, but I do have a question for you, sir. Did you consider that 10 times 10 is 100 and not 70? Correct, but with the persuasion of 30% off. Oh, okay. Do we get to so we so we get to? Oh, well, the uh, persuasion was for silvering stuff, and that's where we got the bonus. Was just for the silvering. It wasn't necessary for the purchase of the item. Roger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um. And that's why I get, That's why it was seventy. That's why I put in there the persuasion. So uh, hey, uh, Embrick, as he's sort of like looking looking through his stuff, he's like, I'm doing the math here. Um, how about Instead of the original deal, what I do is I give you three bars, and uh, the 26 that you were going to give me for the other tools, why don't you just keep that for being a, an awesome weaponsmith and helping us out? Sure, and he, like, flexes his muscles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, brother. You're I really want this scimitar, but I don't think there's any way I can get it other than stealing. How much was he asking for? Twenty-five. 
Where's I've got? Get it, girl. Oh, I've I, st I still have three I'll bars. I'll spot you five. If you um, if you really want it, Rulik, I can spot you five. Uh, I'd like to take the last three bars and uh, just sell them to you as bulk. Uh, mostly for the purpose of I still need to upkeep our our uh, our inn up the road. Well, since you guys have done a lot of a lot of business in here today, I'll sell them for. Dorn is by far my favorite character. You can sell them to me for like. <laughs> We'll just do 50 gold apiece, so you can get a little bit right, more money it. back. So, yeah, I'll get you the the last three bars for 150 gold. That'll work. All right. Appreciate it. Business concluded. Uh, yes. Embrick is like, I will start getting on your work on your stuff right away. What? You know, there. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna take <laughs> I'm gonna take Doran up on his five gold offer. Here, yeah. and I'm gonna I want I want my cleaver scimitar. Uh, my cleaver scimitar. As Dwarren hands over the gold, uh, he starts to hand it over, pulls back for a second, and looks at you for a favor. And he drops it in your hands. Yeah, of course. Um, I'll take it. Uh, hey, also, already back over there forging, so Avi gets the... That's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it. I'm just happy. Gets the same targets over to you. Here you go, little guy. Try not to... <laughs> Kill anybody with that, please. So you said tomorrow for pick up on the silver, yes? Yes, I'll try my best to have all three of your stuff done. Okay. Maybe before uh, high noon. Okay. I'll come back 24 hours from now. Alright. I also... Do business with you. You so. I would like to see if they will trade two daggers for a whip. A what? Two daggers for a whip. I thought you said lemon, and I was about oh, to be I, like, that's my, really my brain heard loot, and I'm like, <laughs> that's, yeah, you know, I heard loot too. No, whip. W H I P. Uh, cool whip. Yeah, he's like, yeah, just give me those two daggers. I'll give you a little bit. Hell yeah. You can whip it. Alright, I'm deleting my daggers. I'm adding a whip, and I'm adding a rapier. Cemetery. Also, I'm out of money. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so you guys heading out. Well, uh, before we leave, I was just going to um, ask Embrick if he had any recommendations for shops that sold furniture. Furniture. Um, yeah, like behind our shop, there's a little place called the Bent Nail. Right back here. You guys would have seen it as you were walking out this way. Mm -hmm. It was like to the right of your house, right over here. Sweet. I think we're going to go check that out. Yeah. Excuse me. So, um, <clears throat> if you want to go to the Bent Nail Lander, then I, I will uh, do the uh, Crudian Crown while you're doing that, I believe. Alrighty. Uh, any furniture you want me to pick up? Um, I trust your, your instinct, whatever you think. Um, so anything for the tavern that you think might be useful or pro pro proper to have. All right. Uh, where Good is the Krillian crown? Uh, you guys pass it as you're coming by here. It was right over here. You're right there. Okay. Pop. Well, we're going to do Ander first because I made a grievous error. <laughs> I didn't read. Uh, Wait, so... Well. Walking in, as you approach the bent nail, Ander, you look at the door, it's completely bare. <laughs> except for a large bent nail sticking out of it. Uh, you walk in, though, and you see, like, ornate wooden furniture, as well as a selection of bows and crossbows. <laughs> Ander <laughs> doesn't actually make them. <laughs> <laughs> that bastard. My fault. <laughs> it's okay. But I mean, it it has it says he sells everything there, so I don't see why he couldn't have had it. Well, okay. He could have got him over time, or you know, got him uh, as trees and have one around. You make, know. He yes. sends them nails. You know, it makes sense. <laughs> it's like, yes, sir. Can can I buy so, that cash register? <laughs> <laughs> With the money still in the place. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, you, you do the transaction, make the change, and then he gives you the whole cash register afterwards. Exactly. So you guys walking in, uh, just from like the look of everything in here, you can tell that whoever operates this place is like a carpenter. Um, looking in, you see a a male half elf. He's got like shaggy red hair. Uh, he's got like green shirt on, dark maroon pants. Um, see you guys walk in. Hello! Welcome to the Bent Nail. <clears throat> I'm not going to say that name. My name's Tally. <laughs> it's like Talus, Solonin, Venar. Talison. Yeah. We just call it Tal. Na, 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 na. My name's Tally. I'm the owner right. and chief artisan here at the Bent Nail. There you go. It's their fault. Bless you. Thank you. Ander? What can I help you guys with? Did you do the talking, Ander? No, what happened to Ander? Where'd he go? I don't know. Uh, well, we've, uh... We've gotten our hands on onto the bar just down the road here, and we're looking to furnish it a little bit. Um... Things that are on our short list, I guess, would include chairs and beds. <clears throat> oh, you guys actually bought that old tr tavern, Troll Skull Tavern? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't know if it's going to stay a tavern, but we're, we're, we're certainly, uh, mm -hmm. we're, um, taking residents in there for now. Sorry. I tell you, it would be fucking amazing to have a tavern this close to work. Yeah? I mean, yeah, you'd, co well. you'd come in a lot, would you? I mean, I would. There's not really taverns between the North Ward. I think mm. if we, I think if we made a tavern, Ander, we would just make a, a you know, a, a, not an inn or anything, just the bar sector only. Yeah. Yeah. Some, yeah. Some, food, some drinks, maybe some ladies. I look over at Gunthack. You know, in a, a few more, a few more of these uh, favors we're doing for people in the city, we'll probably have enough. Money to straight up employ the work done. To purchase the ladies? Oh, uh, sure. We could purchase the ladies too. Consider it a business <laughs> investment. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that place haunted? No. Uh, uh no, nah, dude. He's actually really nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm not haunted weird at weird all, shit. man. Mm -mm, like, nah, really, nah. Really weird shit. Coming no, from. you're imagining things. Mm -hmm. It's all wrong. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. Give me a deception check. <laughs> yeah, give me a deception check. Deception. How bad is my deception? Yeah. Yeah, it's all you, buddy. <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ender was the Don't... one talking. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, was, I was just talking about ladies. <laughs> Let's all see right, you beat that. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, you guys are there now, I guess. Kind of believe you. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. If there was a ghost there, would people be there? No, no. Well, what if you're one of them masochists that likes haunting it or something? I think dead guys are cool. I don't know. So you guys want some furniture? That would be the objective, sir. I don't write anything down. What's and I'll tell pricing? you what. Sorry, go ahead, Andrew. No, 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 no. Gunthack's gun question is actually more important. I'm just trying to figure out pricing of uh, everything. We're looking to get multiple beds, uh, quite a few chairs. We're going to get like a group purchase discount. Yeah, Lamonke, mic off, yo. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> What? All, all I'm hearing is big ass sounds in the back and sound like you're tripping yeah, over shit. Yeah, it sounds like you put your, your, it sounds like you put your headset in the cabinet and start slamming the door. Bro. It what sort of noise, sounds like what the noise it reminds me of is like when you put your headset too close to a speaker and you get that burp. That you know what it sort of sounds like? It sort of sounds like Lamonk went to work and he happens to work in the world's loudest industrial factory. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, from yeah, like yeah. the fifties. I don't know why my stuff was. 
Which one am I still doing? Uh, uh, nah, bro. I was just rasping. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, so I'll turn my game down. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, the, the hearing part wasn't bad. I think when you got up and did things, it just sounded literally like you were in a mill. See, but I didn't get up and do things. That's the thing. You were masturbating then. Uh, yeah. and? No, it was kind of loud. In 4K. Loud. I touched like <laughs> I touched like one thing for a split second. It wasn't that loud. I couldn't even hear it. It's the thing, but it wasn't near my desk. I'll tell you actually what you might have heard is my desk is now like touching my wall, and my roommate just punches the fucking floor when he plays Tekken. <laughs> you may have actually just heard that. I bet, I bet. <laughs> that could be. Yeah. I heard some thumping. <laughs> <laughs> Please come knocking when it's rocking, baby. Is that what the kids call it these days? Is Tekken? It's um, I, I fucking love Tekken, but I'm dog shit at it. He is too, apparently, as you can tell by the punch in the floor so hard that you can hear it through my <laughs> microphone. Apparently, apparently. Babe, sorry, guys. Oh, you're good. No, no you're, worries. You're good, man. No worries. Uh, so for like basic like chairs, tables, and stuff like that, beds. Uh, he would say a bed would be about three hundred copper. Okay. Tables and stuff would be like 10, 15 copper a piece. Let's say I'm looking to get uh, 40 chairs, 14 tables, 10 tables. Make it 10 tables. So 10 tables, 40 chairs, and 5, 6, 6 beds. Should we get like short tables with like mats and stuff so people can sit on the floor? You're not here. What were those prices again? It was 300 copper for a bed, and like, what did you say, like, five copper? Three different for tables. For like a, tables, they'd be about 25 copper. Uh, okay. Chairs and tables, they'd be, I'd write them like five to seven copper. I kind of have a lot of overstock right now, so I don't really have to like make anything. Yeah, honestly, so, you guys are... 24, 20, 26, just 50 copper. Uh, just one of you two, roll me a persuasion check. Oh. Because he is going to... I guess, I guess I'm doing the talking, so I guess I'll roll it. Uh. Can, so uh, you... Ander help me as we, uh, Ooh. have talked together? Yeah, because you guys yeah. were talking about opening Troll Skull back up. <clears throat> so he is saying that he's going to just, like, wholesale a whole bunch of this furniture to yeah. try to get that place back up. But yeah, uh, for the lot of everything, give me like, I don't know, four gold and give me a couple of drinks every now and then. Well, yeah, uh, uh, along with that, um, where do you recommend we go to pick up some labor if we ever do get around to uh, opening up the bar in earnest again? Oh. But the way the guilds are set up around here, they'll be able to handle it for you. Like, all you have to do is really just give them money and they'll find somebody for you. Uh, they're pretty strict. Not like super strict or anything like that. Like, they definitely they get everything done. But if you like don't say you, you open Troll Skull and like didn't get their approval or anything, like you could still stay open. But they'll do everything to try to make sure that you was not staying open for a bit. Who would you recommend to be a good guild to use for such hiring manners? Uh, the Fellowship of the Innkeepers, I think. They have, like, representatives that, that go makes out. sense. Huh. Fellowship of the Innkeepers. I'll write that down. Like I was saying, there's hardly any, you know, taverns around here, so... What do you, you think know, the... Uh, do they charge like a like a per monthly fee or something for us to have something like this open or what do you think how, how do they run that do you know yeah we're fairly new to the city well we're also okay. new to trying to run a business so well for the guild licenses and contract i'd pay about 250 gold for it okay. now just to start the business it, just the yeah 
I mean, okay. that's like a, it's, it's a one-time expense, so you don't have to pay for it again. It's just like your, your membership contract and stuff. Gotcha. Uh, but, you know, it might take them a little bit of time to, like, actually renovate the tavern and stuff. I'm not oh, really yeah, sure. Yeah. We just have not ways really... to go, but... Yeah, I'm not really sure the expense on that part, but they're, they're usually pretty good about, like, actually working with you and stuff like that. Okay. Well, I so think really... I can... I think I could renovate it myself over time, or... With a couple of us, I think it's possible, but... And you said that group was Gunthak, did you get that? The Fellowship Yeah, of Fellowship the... of the Innkeepers, yeah. Fellowship of the Innkeepers, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, Tally, you're uh, more than welcome at our bar anytime. Open or close. Appreciate it, guys. I'll definitely yeah. be over there. And then I'll hand him, uh, I'll hand him five gold pieces. Appreciate it, guys. You guys pick out whichever bed you think is the best. You know, they're all for you. Basically the ones that I have. All right. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, I'll take a look and just, uh, well, I guess me and Andrew will spend, what, 10, 15 minutes kind of looking over everything and kind of choosing our selection. And he'll be like, yeah, if you guys want, I can help you carry some of that stuff over to the tavern. Can yeah, you... we'll be carrying for a while. Yeah, that's a lot of tables and chairs. <laughs> All right, Markham. You late motherfucker. He said I'd be here by 10. It's only 8.43. He's, he's early. Or he did. Time. You did say that, Shane. <laughs> You're well, like, I'm in park. Well, I'll be home by 10. I really did. He just punched the <laughs> bed, <bathroom. laughs> Uh, So, you guys, basically to recap, the party went out. They <laughs> did not end up selling all those silver bars. They traded half of them to get their weapons and silver. Uh, they, we, everybody has bedrooms now at the tavern. You have a bedroom that is right beside a bathroom. So I made a joke and said that your bedroom is the bathroom. Oh, wow. Uh, Markham is currently just T-posing in the bathroom right now. Because they're all out shopping and getting stuff. I can't imagine that he was like, you know, you know hanging on the side of the wall because he's a frog. Sleeping, like how the red-eyed tree frogs are, you know, like just mm -hmm. my eyes closed, everything squeezed together. Oh yeah. And now, right now, we're buying beds and stuff, so and chairs and tables, and we may open up the bottom half into a tavern with permission of clans or the guilds. But you don't know right. any of that yet, because we're not there to tell you yet. Have we, have we talked about said guilds or anything yet? Mention uh, them. We haven't yeah. made any kind of decisions. No, yeah. no, we haven't made those decisions. Just, just in passing conversation, really. Yeah, if you want to, Markham, we can just say you're you headed out of the tavern and you came out, and right when you came out, you saw Dorn and Rulik coming in down there. Yeah. Markham, good to uh, see you awake. Tally, does there, I don't know how this system works here, but is there uh, uh, someone we have to go to to get active water through the the tavern or to the old pipes? If anything, that might be the, something that the fellowship can do because they'll, oh. if they renovate that place, they can install all new pops and stuff into the, the tavern itself. The fellowship it is gotcha. Yeah, they're usually they're pretty good. They're they're decent people. Okay. The guard runs the city, and the the guild keeps it alive. The what? guilds, I should say. So, as you guys are getting your beds and furniture taken over to the silver bar, uh, De Warren, Rulik, and Merkham. Lon, I don't know where you're at. You're just sitting there on my screen. He's lawning it up. Just big lawn in it. Let me see. You're muted, Lon, in case you don't know. Maybe he's asleep. He's asleep. You know, he also has kids. He might have to be done with that. So do I, but I just ignore him. <laughs> just I'm smart. By the way. 
Uh, so as you guys are walking. Uh, no, I'm I'm here. Okay. I'm. I'm I'm going to Texas Corralia or whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as all four of you guys uh, are walking up to the the townhouse that you see. It is a big three-story townhouse. At the top of it is not like the normal roof and stuff that you see from all these other ones. It is a greenhouse. You see like big translucent glass walls. As you're walking up, you see like a rainbow plethora of like flowers blossoming within. Uh, walking in, you see a wood elf with long braided hair. Uh, they're they kind of look like ambiguous like they don't look like either male or female you walk in and they're like hello welcome to Karelian's crowd I'm Fala hello Fala um, good to meet you my name is Dvorn we are looking for many items and we are directed towards your shop can you tell us what it is exactly that you sell Carbalist I usually use most of the ingredients from my upstairs greenhouse. Um, I offer tons of magical herbs. Not magical, my bad. Non-magical. Just regular, average herbs. Um, I, I go, I go to uh, to the elf, and like kind of interrupting her a little bit, but politely. You, you, dear, you can tell us if they're magical or not magical. It's all right. They are they. They're what? They are they. They are neither male nor female. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just said deer. Uh, yeah, D E R, bro. Like a like a deer. Dirt. Come on. They're, they're really not magical. I mean, I do put love into them, but that, some people say love's not magic. Hmm. Some, some would be wrong. Give, give it to Rulik for the rats. <laughs> uh, but as you walk up towards the counter, you do see like a little cabinet on display that has... Get a fucking D6. Like a D6? There is... <laughs> Two potions up there right now. Uh, so you have a uh, at least two brews ready. What would they be? God damn it! One is a potion of healing. God, why the fuck am I rolling sixes? And another one is a potion of greater healing. Wonderful. Exactly what I was after. What's your cost on this? The regular potion is just 50 gold. But the greater one is 250. They're like doing spirit fingers while they say that. Hmm. Um, so do I not have this silver bar anymore? No. Take it away. Well, that's a little rich for me right now. Um, I'm also looking for a healer's kit. Do you have anything of that nature? Why, yes! And they pull one out. It would be... Five gold. Five gold? I would definitely take that. Here you go. Thank you kindly. And um, I'll let the other gentlemen here speak while I collect my notes. I was looking for some other things, but I need to consult. Gentlemen, if you would. And I just, you can gesture vaguely for the rest of the guys yeah. to have their turn while I just flip through my book. Sure. Anybody else doing anything in here? Uh, so he got a healer's kit, didn't buy the potions, right? Correct. Nope. How much did you say that the normal potion was? 50 gold. So expensive. To 
cool look. Anything else cool looking around here? No, nah, looking around, you just see like an assortment of herbs. Uh, the only thing of like real value was the potions that they have up front. Hmm. Are we able to go upstairs? No. No, I mean, you can try, but Paula be like, oh, honey, that's off limits. Hmm. Oh. Merkham's just gonna kind of take a look around and just see those very expensive potions and nothing else in here and be like, <clears throat> no, I'm good. We're, we're good. Oh, um, just delightful little thing. Toodle! Well, I, I have some other things uh, here. Do I see any, any herbs that are like out for display, like ready to sell or anything? Uh, they're like everywhere. They're gonna be like hanging up dry and. Uh, I'm gonna... They got like, okay. Uh, they just got like barrels of different concoctions of like herbs and shit. Okay, I'm going to like talk to her, but be vaguely looking around the room as I am like thumbing through a small journal I have. Um, I'm looking for a number of herbs, uh, just to rattle off a few: spellbane, true root, nara root, flesh wart, fetal balm. Any of these uh, available? And I just go over and start looking at an, an individual an individual basket, trying to figure out what it is. What was that last one you said? Uh, fever bomb. Is to cure insanity? I think I, yeah, I think I have some of that. Let me see. I just start digging through uh, a couple barrels. Why? I think I have three cloves of it right here. Mm, not as much as I was hoping for. Um, yes, I'd like to purchase that. How much would you like? Give me a silver and you can have Silver? Wonderful, dear. Thank you. Anything else? I believe that would be it. Let me add these properly to my inventory as I tuck things in my backpack. We're right back here on the restroom real quick. Hey. Try to make a new set of potions every other day. So if you guys just stop on by, I might have something different. And it's probably going to be a custom item. Got it. All right, yeah, I will follow, uh, I guess, Merkham out the door. Lon, did you have anything that you needed? I was definitely after a healer's kit, but uh, honestly, I'm not sure what I need. Nope. Okay. I was muted. That's okay. Again. <laughs> yes, I need a healer's kit. Oh, I, I bought one inside. Um, if you need one, maybe she has a second. Yes. I'll go inside and be like, excuse me, sorry, um, did I get a healer's kit? Well, let me look around, see if I have one more. They start digging through, like, just <clears throat> shit tons of, like, herbs that are just everywhere for some fucking reason, like, digging through them, digging through them. Ah, uh, ah, uh, here, last one I have. Three gold. Here you are. Hand over the gold. Stop on by. As Lon like opens the door to leave, I rush in again. Sorry, beg your pardon. I just realized I would love to have like a some sort of uh, of kettle and maybe a small t travel tankard or two, something of like a camping nature, just in case you're know, on the go. Got to sell camping camping supplies here. Uh, that's a shame. I was, well, you see, I, with the herb, I was making tea, and I don't know if I'm going to be here or there. Or, uh, I was looking, less for camping, more for travel, you know. But, oh well, I'll have to look for something elsewhere. Thank you.
Rulik, you staying inside? She gone. He's dead. You guys leave. Okay. Everybody's <laughs> left. Uh, walking out, you see a, another shop over this way. A, yeah, you can't really see yeah, you see a, another sign hanging out from over there. Oh, oh shit. Wait, can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Sweet. I had done some shit because I realized too much sound was coming through, and uh, apparently no sound was coming through after that. <laughs> you fixed it really uh, good. Yeah, I'm going to have to restart my computer real quick. I re-downloaded the video broadcast, or was it a thing? So my noise cancellation was not working. So I'll be back in like 45 seconds. Okay. <clears throat> So I can see that. Sounds like from it's here. five minute break time. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you can really see is. See an orange and black sign featuring cat's eyes. Well, this isn't as interesting as anything else. I'll just start wiring it that way. Uh, Ander, Gunthak, what do you got? Well, Bond will Ander follow so he does not get lost. Disney. Taking shit to the house. Yeah, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'd like to spend the time while they were shopping, uh, doing what Gunpack said. So as you guys are walking out, you see like Gunpack thing. and Ander and a another half elf looking guy just coming by carrying furniture towards the tavern. I was kind of vaguely waving at them. Good work, gentlemen. Keep it up. Yep. Yep. You guys walk on over. Uh, you get to the door. Uh, you guys walking in? Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna walk in and kind of look at the sign as I go in. As you go to the door, it is locked. <sighs> Hold a dash. Um, can I see in any windows or anything? Looking around, you see a little bell hanging up. Oh, uh, yeah. can I reach the bell? Like, does it have like a yeah. little drop? Yeah, it's like right beside. Yeah, I'll, I'll ring the bell. Ring the bell. You hear like some shuffling on the inside, and open up the door. You see a human-looking dude dressed in like this sharpest fucking suit. He looks neat as fuck. And he's smoking a little slim pop. And he stares at you. Hold on. We can get him on the. Did we end up picking a name? Yeah, it's it's written. Oh, it's not. Yeah, cover where it's at. Yeah, y y yours is Markham. The the house itself is named Silver Bar at the moment. Is what we've come up with. Okay. Get him home. Okay. He was like, "This, thanks to him." Yeah, what he said. I don't know what he said, so that doesn't. Do it. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, is this a uh, mercantile establishment? No. My name is Vincent. Oh, good. I'm a, I'm a detective around here. Oh, good to meet you, Vincent. My name's DeWarren Springpied, and I, I reach out to shake his hand. He, like, pause it for a second and shakes your hand. Uh, you say you're a detective. Are you for hire? Always. I would love to have your services. I am looking for someone, as a matter of fact, and I have absolutely no leads on them. Uh, got a name? Um, the person's name is Toba. She is a dark-skinned, white-haired satyr. About uh, earlier than middle age. Uh, what are they? Well, she's a satyr. Um, she disappeared from my awareness. Probably. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, so... Hello. 
She disappeared from my awareness probably seven or eight days ago. I haven't the slightest where she went. Yes, in the city limits. See what I can do. Uh, don't work for free. Oh, I expect not. Probably wouldn't be any good if you were for free. Myself fed. How much for your services? Standard fee is about 50 gold. Um, I can just about do that. Uh, I, let's see. Math. Um, I will give you everything I have remaining, which is roughly 47 gold, I believe. If that's alright. Um, so whenever, whenever he says a person's name or I find it, I've been posting in general for you guys to see the picture of what he looks like. So yeah, I see. Thank you. To kind of help with the images. Yep. Dressed sharp as fuck, got a little cane. That helps me a whole lot. That picture it... I found. Yep. <laughs> uh, Could you wait for 47? What's this person mean to you? They are very dear to me. They are worth, and I show him everything I have left in this pouch. Do it. Uh, you owe me a tiny favor. Now. Three gold's worth of favor. Understandable. I will just give him. Give me Mm -hmm. Give me about a week, and a weekend in favor in ten days. By the way, called uh, a ten day. Okay. Uh, give me about a week. I'll see what I can find. All right. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, pleasure. Goes back in time. And what was his name? Because I didn't write that down. Vincent. Mm -hmm. His last name's Trench, but he didn't say that. Gotcha, Vincent. He could have said that. So Dolph has zero dollars. Well, I have 80 copper. After that, I'll just uh, turn and walk back to the group. Oh, well, not to store, but I had purchased a service. As you were walking back. At some point when you were like right here you saw mm -hmm. one more shop down this way then which way down right past here ah okay gentlemen uh, if um i think i see one more place to uh peruse if you need anything what's the shop no idea but it's that way i can't quite see that far We need a, uh, like a tailor shop, something for curtains and tablecloths and all that stuff. Okay. Oh, well, we can certainly go see. I'm just going to, you know, after shouting across the street, I'm just going to walk back that way. <coughs> um, Lon, Merc, Lon, and, uh, Rulik, will you go with them, please? Me and Andar are still finishing these heavy ass. I'm following Lobby. He said me a favor, I'm awaiting that favor. <laughs> no, no, I said me a favor, not him a favor. Huh? As you guys get close, you see uh, a door in the front of the shop is just a little a sign, a charming sign, of a gold dragon curled around a treasure board with books and scrolls. It's you see that the label for the shop is called the Bookworm's Treasure. Spelled B O K W Y R M. Yep. Heck yeah. I'm gonna play on words. Ah, this you place seems to be a place of uh, literature and information, not of tailorship. Well, uh, I'm sure there's nothing in here I could afford anyway. And I'll just be in walking back to the group. 
eventually once I get close enough. Um, Gunthak, uh, I don't think that's anything that we uh, need over there. Okay. Uh, Tally, do you know of anywhere around here while we're carrying all this stuff? Do you know anywhere that does linen and cloths and tailors in this area? Not off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, my wife kind of fiddles around with it. I mean, she's not really that good. And also, <laughs> it takes her a really long time to do stuff. Yeah, I'd be looking kind of like our deal here. I'm looking for... What does your wife fiddle with? A, a surplus. I'll keep an eye out as we travel throughout the town. Thank you. <laughs> anybody else anything? Anybody else wanting to do anything before we go back to the tavern? No, I think we're okay. <laughs> so, you guys shopping and everything, you reconvene, watching Gunthak Ander and, uh, Tally fucking bring over tons of tables, chairs, beds, uh, stools, round tables. Where the fuck are we gonna fit ten tables? Oh, we'll well we got that. six downstairs alone. <laughs> yeah. Well, considering that we are potentially opening the bottom into a tavern, potentially, you really <coughs> need them. To set them up, and the ones that are here look like crap, so I'm upgrading us with nicer surplus, much more valued, and the rest we could just throw into a pile and burn for all I care. Yeah, sure. You guys, you guys do have a common room and like a library and shit that you can still put stuff in there. Yeah. And you have storage places. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right next to my room, there's a, there's a storage room right next to my room. Am I in my room currently? <laughs> the, that's a bathroom. So, yeah. yeah so oh, yes, right. yes. So you're in your, uh, you're, right, you're, yes. you're in your room. You're in your room. So this is my technical room. This yeah. is my... <laughs> I had it written, but someone deleted it. So, I want to do like Bender did on Futurama. So this it's my room and like this is my closet. The master yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. As your ten tables on the map. It's the reconfiguration. That right. rename that. That's Markham's closet. You guys are coming in and like putting uh tables and shit down. You see like some of them are moving on their own and like arranging themselves in like specific spots. And you guys basically don't have to move anything downstairs. Leaf is just going to move it around himself. We got magical tables. Awesome, very yeah. good. Thank you, Leaf. I thought it was Leaf. I thought it was Leaf. Hold on. Le no. Shut up. Leaf. Leaf is Leaf. I'm going to keep changing the goddamn thing. You just life, gonna yeah, life, life has a knee on the end, so life doesn't yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Life can be unpredictable. No. Exactly. Exactly. As you guys are cleaning and like a leaf on the wind dust in the wind so i get the reference and it made me sad you are i am a grave voice. cleric so do you guys have like anything specifically you want to do for the rest of the day or we're we just going to be cleaning and sleeping i like to discuss my <laughs> sword I want to discuss with everyone uh, about the guilds and factions and try and figure out what direction we're going to take because tomorrow, since we have all of our money spent, we need to talk to probably the Fellowship of the Innkeepers whenever they come because I think uh, Volo was having that sent for us. But we also need to decide factions for personal investment. Well, right now, a personal investment looks like uh, mostly for the purpose of establishing this place and potentially making value would be the uh, fellowship of the innkeepers correct that's the guild though i am personally going to pursue and you don't have to do anything uh but i am personally going to pursue the uh, harper's faction and see if i can get any intel on my personal quest as it were what's your personal quest 
Uh, to find a friend of mine that has gone missing. Oh, okay. I thought you were just trying to find a friend. I was like, done. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. Your great quest is over. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> I'm <laughs> right here, now. baby. Yeah. You can retire happy now. <laughs> okay. no, I appreciate uh, the optimism, but no, that's... Uh, uh, and by the way, we're not broke. You're broke. There's a difference. No. Okay. True. Fair. <laughs> well, my money is spent, so that my so my tomorrow funny. is planned. <laughs> Dude, my character is straight to the point. That's that's how he plays. Just to clarify, mm -hmm. you're poor. I'm not. <laughs> that's something that like uh, Day would actually say if it was the other way around. So definitely. Right, like my character is always to the point. It's not always the nicest things he says or, the, or anything, but it's to the point. And Warren, you do remember you do have some paintings that are worth money too. Yeah, no, I'm I'm hanging on with those though. Those are gonna go for his bedroom. Gosh, put some class in there. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. I could have got some plants or something for this bedroom. Um, yeah, so. Anyways, we need to do some some lines of coke of to earn some money so we can uh, hopefully get the innkeepers involved and get this place kind of rolling. Basically, we need to get a sponsorship, and um, if not, then the guild will try to basically sabotage and make us fail. So yes, definitely. It's kind of spendy, but I think if we if Tally more. Sword is anything to trust. If we got it up and running, uh, people would come. True, and we could maybe be able to barter with the keepers and offer them a percentile to start and then pay them per month for to balance out our overdue, our debt. And they could probably also point us in the direction of some cheap labor. Well, Slaves. Uh, I, I, I think Tally was saying that uh, the innkeepers are able to find people for hire that would actually be good at the job, so that'd be nice. Yeah, that's they a really good thing. Cook. Yeah. Guilds uh, typically have people that volunteer or work for a certain wage, contractors. Uh, yeah. You basically, uh, when you're a part of a guild, they find people willing to, for coin or providence, do the... No, don't the wrong. This is... The thing. This is still down the road because this place still needs a lot of work, but we can always work upstairs. We just gotta get this downstairs looking like it's worthwhile. And do you know anyone who can make this sign, Dorn, for the new name? That's what I forgot was paint. I went to ask for paint. Not that I could afford it anyway. Um, well, I mean, I, I'm not incredibly skilled, but I was gonna give it a try. Yeah, I can. So up in my room, I'm gonna put a box down and I'm gonna start putting kind of our investments in there and try to help uh, maintain some spending so we can upkeep definitely. and we definitely need some kind of safe well yeah that too we do have a safe his name is Liv <laughs> with him here everyone's afraid because it's you know scary here he would be able to keep people out I would think Right, Liv? Where'd Liv go? He doesn't respond because his name is Lof. <laughs> no, it's not. <clears throat> Life is like a box of Rolex. The more you have, the less you want. Wait, Lof? Leaf. Leaf. Leaf will, uh... Write on the little notebook that Andrew left him last game because I said he did that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he... He just rots. I got your back, homie. Oh, see? Look at that. I do think if this uh, tavern evolves to have some sort of uh, food preparation, I think the Merkham should definitely be in charge of that. So you um, can poison people? Uh, he would literally eat everything. No, not Merkham. Merkham oh, would fine. He would eat the other things, but... are you? Can you cook Merkham? I mean, no. usually I, I just eat whatever I eat alive. Okay, so cooking is not your forte. I'll let them try. 
I mean, we have uh, a, lim a pretty unlimited supply of rats. Just saying. You know, welcome. Also, uh, better fed than not. T tartar is actually a pretty expensive dish, if you ever have a chance. And it's probably uh, right up your alley. Is that the tartar? Isn't that like the the stuff that's still alive? Yeah. No, it's it's, it's, it's from Star Wars. It's raw. It's, it's, it's mixed uh, beef and spices. But it's raw. Oh, oh we have never had that before. Sounds good. Hmm. So, did anyone else? What you put on fish? Um, Close. Tartar sauce. <laughs> Man, he is rolling tonight. Wait. I can't stop. Well. Um. All that to say, I'm going to try and find some sort of headquarters or information on where these Harpers are, and I will speak to whoever I need to speak to there to get that started for myself personally. So are you doing that um, tonight, or are you going to wait till morning? Uh, I figure tomorrow will be best. It's already kind of, probably... Maybe when we get our weapons, just in case. That's was, uh, a good uh, thing, yeah. I was also thinking about searching for the Order of the Gauntlet. For who? The Order of the Gauntlet. Mm. Oh, order the gauntlet. There you go. Hmm. So I don't know if I'm talking to a Where did you write down the fact sheets and stuff? I forgot. Out of there. Boom. In the During gang stuff. stuff, yeah. Yeah, I've been busy worrying about my <clears throat> surgery that I didn't really look at it yet. Well, uh, gentlemen, I think that's all I have to really do Oh, uh, your room today. should have a uh, larger bed in it, Dorn. I made sure due to your size to make sure I found the largest one he had available. Thank you kindly. But I think I will spend the rest of the, my evening in there and be working on my own personal endeavors. Evening. Okay. And I'll just walk away. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I just walked that's a, away. That's a bed right there, <laughs> dang. There's my bed. The biggest the bed. I actually put your bed. I don't get a frame, Merkum. I just put your bed in the tub. <laughs> that worked. I don't even need. I don't even need that. As long as I got the tub, we're good. Yeah, I know. I got how many? Things I got six. One. Yeah, one for each room, no matter what. Cool, cool, cool. There's one back in Rolex wine cellar. That's right. I made, I made it smell funny so it matched you. <laughs> in like a good shit. way, not yes. a bad way. Um, so, as you guys are laying down for bed, doing your stuffs, uh, we all go to sleep. You guys can long rest. I know you probably didn't do anything significant, so nothing should have changed. But if do, any of the spellcasters want to switch around their stuff, do, does all my my uh, gold regenerate on wrong list? No, <laughs> always. I don't that Honey, that. You wake up and you have no gold. <laughs> uh, Why is that funny? That's painful. It's funny how these things work, right? Bump, bump. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it lovely? <clears throat> hey, we'll take like a five minute break real quick. To like All right. Are so you saying I can get out of my chair? It'll take me longer. Five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Uh, Dash is acting up again. It's time for a five minute break. <laughs> <laughs> how, how dare he? For real, I need water and some other things. Oh, yeah. So, you're back. I'm being weighed on by the wife, so I don't have to do much today. It's nice. Sounds nice. It is. When you're when you're kind of a cripple, they, they hook you up a little bit. <laughs> it's a good feeling. So I'm looking in the handouts to try to find whichever one held the um, list of factions. It's Which one is it? It's under game stuff. Or, or you mean in the handouts in the on roll twenty? Yeah, on roll twenty. Oh, I don't know. Okay, where where is the game stuff? And uh, it's on Discord. Says game stuff. 
You just scroll up. I see it now. Yeah. Yeah, Emerald Enclave, Force Gray. Yeah, when you were telling me prices, uh, there, Mr. Ander, I was kind of chuckling. I was like, how did we go from four gold to 26 gold? <laughs> Uh, because 2,650 mm -hmm. copper is 26 gold. Correct. That all together is that price. But he only offered wanted 4 gold plus free drinks every so often. So I figured our, our four, 4 gold price was much better than 26 gold. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> I wasn't going to correct him when he said 4 gold. I was like, oh, yep. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I gave, I'm going to give him a gold tip. He has 5 gold now. Ugh, oh, my ass hurts. She said. Well, sitting in a chair all fucking day with your leg up in the air. Yeah. And it's not like I can just get up and walk around. Dude, on this oxy shit, I'm more focused. What's your uh, remainder, Ender, for gold-wise? Are you pretty low? Uh, I have 43 gold, which is about 13 more gold than I started this session with. Don't worry, I'm back. I'm back. <clears throat> so between you and me, we almost have enough just for the licensing, license and stuff. Noise. Okay. But like I said, it'll be a while before we get up and running, so we don't have to do any of that yet, obviously. I have 80 copper. Uh, I still have. Uh, where's my cheese sheet at? Uh, I still have 162 gold, 41 copper, and 13 silver. But he said licensing and getting everything about two to two hundred and fifty gold, so I'm glad you guys remembered that, because I've totally forgot about the licensing. Dude, this oxy thing is fucking getting me focused, dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I think that's where drug addicts began. Mm, I can't afford to be a drug addict, so that'll never happen. But... That's the best way to think about it. Too broke to be a drug addict. Yep. And watching my mother do painkillers for her, her painkillers her whole life, and watching her slowly deteriorate. Not really a fan of them. And that that probably helped it too. Yeah. And the fact that I don't smoke or anything that causes me to cough, because my mother and father have chain smoked since I've been born, and so their house is just a cloud of smoke, and the walls <laughs> are yellow. I think you got this. My dad. Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. I'm only taking it for when the pain actually hurts. Other than that, I just say whatever. Yeah, my dad's like constantly drunk, so same as That's my brother. My brother will drink a 24 pack of beer a day just to numb himself. Oh, and he uh, he decided to get angry at one of my other brother's uh, handicapped sons and punch him in his face a couple times. Awesome. Yeah, he he angered him, so he he has uh, military issues. Sounds like a winner. Yeah. Well, you know, he lives wherever people will take him, and he's 41 years old and doesn't have a place to call his own. So yeah, definitely epic winner. <clears throat> There's lots of things they do that that they fail so bad at that I watch him do it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Swing that coat. Yeah, that that Andrew hitting that coke. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. And that vape is more like. Yeah. So anybody else decided on a faction? I was looking at him. I'm not sure what my character would really do with the factions. There was kind of three that I remember <clears throat> from. Andrew knows a thing or two about the Lord's Alliance. Um, yeah. Andrew took. Ender previously was associated with the Lord's Alliance. Mm. I've 
my character's been here a few months, but he knows nothing of any of the orders or the alliances, so... From what we uh, I don't know if I've... Boys. It's just occurred to me that I don't know if I've properly uh, described my character yet. Um, he's, he's an older man. Um, he has scarring, pretty pretty significant scarring, on the left side of his face. And probably the left side of his body. It looks like he was in some sort of conflict. Um, he hobbles sometimes in the mornings and at night. Hmm. Gotcha. What, what were so, you saying? moving all that shit was kind of painful then. Yeah, it was. It was it, well. You know, Ander tends to find that as he as he gets moving, it's all right. It's when he slows oh. down that it hurts. Ah, oh, gotcha. So he takes a break. He's fucked. Yeah. Long rest. The, Emer you. the Emerald Enclave looks pretty cool. I mean, my character's part of his listing is he cares for uh, like animals and stuff. <laughs> So. Well, Emerald Enclave is in tr is in charge of the um, City of the Dead, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, they yep. overlook the cemetery. Yep, they're my people. Hey, that makes two of us. I think I'm going to check out them. The Lord's Alliance, uh, I mean, you know, it didn't really work out so well for Ander. Dwarren is, hi is hyper-focused. And I believe that the Harpers or the Zentrum are going to be the best places to find leads for, for my uh, my, my yeah, items. mercenaries and stuff. But I don't believe the Zentrum is worth the risk for me. Yeah, I think so. No, probably probably not. With the way your character is, it wouldn't really work out. Hey, uh, DM, I just rolled a 46 on my physical dice for percentage. You can do with that with, with whatever you want. It's a 46% chance that you have a hernia throughout the night. Mm, sounds about right. That ain't bad. Uh, so is everybody back? Monkey! Mm. Rant. I never went anywhere. No, Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> um, so Mr. DM, let's see. Where's my shit thing at? Oh, it's still up. So when I get my weapon, I would like to spend that day making my rapier into um, this, if you will allow. Oh, hey, I forgot to pause the recording, so there's that. Do you do it on short rest? Of, say like after Correct, you get, but you I'm just like saying no. <laughs> I'm gonna make my rapier into my dedicated weapon. Because then uh, I can legally, yeah, then I can actually use it, and it will still have my proficiency and stuff. Wait, unruly if you get back. We're just gonna say everybody else wakes up the next day. Um, and. Yeah. What room are you in? Uh. Let's see. I guess you know, as as we go in You're tonight, I, I went to my room. The cursed room, you mean? Is it the cursed room? Oh, I, by the way, on this particular uh, uh, page, I don't have access to my own token. Uh, I've had access to it on the other pages. This uh, is the only one for some reason. I'll put you down here for some reason. So just drag him over. Okay. There we go. Because everybody's in their respective rooms for the night. Ah, uh, yes. You guys are all in your rooms. Uh, Lon and Ander both. This is like a little walkway in between, I guess. But you can hear it. You hear like a gentle scratching at this door. Yeah, it's like right out here. Interesting. Okay. Um, does it wake Ander up? Yeah, yeah you just hear like faint scratching. Hmm. 
okay. Ender wanders out into the hall. Does he see anything? No, because this is all this stuff like right, <clears throat> that shit, that's just walls. You see the door right up there. Bond uh, will creep up to his door and lock it. Okay. Is one unsettled uh, at all by all the windows that he does not have curtains for yet? And... <laughs> Nope. He's naked as the day he was born. Nice. Ander comes a little bit closer and he sort of um, quietly calls out uh, Leif? Is that you? Sorry, fellas. I made noodles. I've returned. Uh, Welcome back, you, buddy. You don't hear nothing from me asking that. Hmm. Mm. So, what has happened? Oh, uh, there's, you know, there's a puppy outside. Like, yeah, early morning, uh, Ander and Lon heard like faint scratching come from this door. Was it me? No. <laughs> Was it me? <laughs> yeah, where's my bed at? Wait, hold up. <clears throat> okay. Um, I guess Ander is going to... Stealth. Stealth. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can't, like, I don't know, peek through the keyhole? Perception with disadvantage. Perception with disadvantage. Thirteen, you can faintly see like something white, like flickering back and forth. Okay, and there goes. Uh, holy shit! Somebody's here. Uh. <laughs> I guess Ander tries to unlock this door. Does it open? <laughs> Lon lock this door. Okay, I come into this room then. Lon, are you up? Lon's naked as shit right now. Oh, fucking Christ, Lon. <laughs> Jesus, buddy. Listen, there's some weird shit well, going on course, outside. I'm, well, of course I'm up. I just woke up, so obviously I'm go It's just, it. that's how it happens. Oh, he's Good. up. <laughs> yeah, buddy, I think you're, you're maybe a little too up. Uh, listen... I don't know if you've been hearing what's going on out there, but I took a peek and there is absolutely something out there. I'm gonna go and take a look from the ground floor, maybe. You hear like Would I have heard the scratching, you think? Would I have been up? No, you're, you're down in the basement, dude. <laughs> yeah, like would I have been up? I mean, you've been up, the but basement, you're, you're in the basement well, right now. I got this really like, good ears. Like you know, first name. stories up, man. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got hell ears. Would my rat tell me anything? You know, or Trace? Does he know? No, nah, mm -hmm. he's asleep. All my homie rats be like, hey, yo. Yeah, he's just he's chilling, sleeping. Uh but Lon, you hear like like insistent scratching coming from your door now. Hmm. Yep, I'm throwing on clothes and going this way. You guys don't hear it no more. Um, so, uh, as I come downstairs, I guess I'm going to be over here. Outside. Looking up, you can kind of faintly see uh, a white cat. Because... I think we've established that the stairs to go up are is outside the house. <laughs> yeah, uh, so so the way the way I've looked at the house is like okay, so we have a main entrance, right? But then there's also this back stairs that lead up to directly to the second floor. It skips yep. the business part entirely. Yeah, so going up you see the banister up there and you just see a white cat. And he looks down to you. Interested in joining the Emerald Enclave? Come meet us at Umbrog. 
Man, these goddamn names. Emerald Enclave, makes sense. Come meet me at Falconmere. Come meet us at Falconmere. Yeah, that sounds right. In the Southern War. Oh, Falconmere great. in the Southern War? I just kind of call back behind me. Lon! Cats are talking, bro. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's After funny. It That's delivers so its funny. invitation. It scurries off. It jumps off the banister and just runs out. Of, runs away. Uh, I guess I come back around the house over here to where Lon is. So, uh, that conversation we were having about the enclave. Yeah, that was that was them. I think, on some level, they're inviting us over. We got to go to some place, Falconmere, if we accept the invitation. One of their, one of their members is a cat. One of their members is a cat that talks. Oh, you guys both roll Arcana. Uh, that 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 uh. That disadvantage or no? No, nah, not disadvantage. <laughs> we'll take that first roll then. All right, long you roll them. Just there we go. All right, so Ander, thinking about it for a second, and noticing that the cat just ran away after it done its deed, you can tell that somebody just cast a spell on it to deliver the message and go. Oh, okay. I was sort of expecting it to be like, uh, what it, what's it called? Polymorph or whatever. A druid spell. Oh, well, well check. Yeah. Oh, Lulu W. But all the same, okay. Uh, you know, I think that I think the that cat might might have just been enchanted. It also would have said just had one of magics <clears throat> done on it. It would have said bring whoever wants to join. Oh. But yeah, Lon, if you're serious about joining this here, uh... Enclave? The Enclave I forgot the other E. Emerald. 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 This here Emerald Enclave, we gotta go and, uh... Meet up at this here Falconmore. Falconmore. Falk, Falk, Falcon, Falconmere. Falk, Falcon Islands. Falcon Reef. Fuck this. <laughs> See? Imagine me having to stay at first. <laughs> uh, All right. You... Tomorrow we'll go meet Mr. Falkenheimer. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go meet Orville Falkenheimer. <laughs> As this is happening, Warren, you hear oh, no. faint tapping at your window. Jesus Christ! What is this? The Wizarding World? All right. <laughs> My eyes shoot open, and I turn over in my bed that I'm not in front of for some reason. Uh, okay, we're just going to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, like, my eyes are going to shoot open, and I'm going to very slowly turn over so I can look at my window. You look up, and you just see, like... Swear to God, if you say owl. No, uh... <laughs> I don't know if Andrew, you didn't show him the paper bird, did you? No, I didn't see the paper bird. All right, so you look out and you just see like an origami, like swan, just hitting your window back and forth. Does my window open? That I can yeah, tell. It's I'm a little bit like janky trying to get it up. It like shifts to one side. You have to like try to correct it. I'm, I'm going to take one of my daggers out. And hold it in my hand as I flip the latch and very slowly open the window, thinking that every moment this is a mistake. As you open it, the <clears throat> little pickle bird flies around your head for a second, lands on your bed, and like opens up. And it has a note inside of it. Do it. It says, One of them. Rainier tells us you are a good bet. He bought you tickets to the opera tonight at the Lot Singer Theater in the Sea Ward. If you are interested, meet Mert at intermission, private box C. Formal attire is required for admittance. 
and inside you see six tickets. Okay, hold up. Six tickets. You see opera? Uh, me to the opera tonight at the Light Singer Theater. Light Singer. And uh, what was the box number? Meet Mart at Intermission, Private Box C. Box C. Uh, spell that guy's name, Merck. Merck, M-I-R-T. Got it. Okay, I will suspiciously look at these tickets and this uh, this bird plane message thing. I'll flip them over a couple times, make sure I didn't miss any information. We'll take the tickets. Is there a table in my room at all? I don't think there is at this time. Nope. Okay, then I'm going to like take the tickets and the letter. The, I I kind of play with it a little bit to make sure the letter doesn't float anymore. Like I hold my hand and kind of let it fall with my you know into my hand as I drop my hand down. Does it do anything? Is it just hovering? Or... Nope. Once it delivered its uh, delivered its message, it becomes a note. Okay, then I'm going to take the paper and fold it up a little bit so it's roughly the same size as the tickets. We'll stack them on top of each other and put them against my bedpost and then stab them with the dagger and sleeve them there while I sleep. you are in your bathtub just floating around being a frog you hear a message in your head I am Vajras Affair the Black Staff come to Black Staff Tower in the Castle Ward at once bring your friends Hello. and you can reply if you want to Bring your friends. There'll be pizza. Extra betting alone. You can tell it's like a female voice that contacted you. Pissing all by yourself, handsome. <laughs> Bring your friends. There'll be pizza. No, no. It's... Are you travels from Chatter? That was a very good toad. Yeah, it's more like, please bring your friends to my tower. I have gifts for you. Pretty insistent. It was like straight to the point. I'm Vatra Sapir. Come to the Black Staff Tower at once. Please bring your friends. But didn't even say please. Just said bring your friends. She didn't say please. So, F so Lon's not going. I almost said Flint. <laughs> F and Lon's not going. Fine, Merkin. Hmm. Said you were flying. Uh, where are we going again? Hold on, let me see. Come to Blackstaff Tower in the Castle Ward at once. Yes. Uh. I want to go. Mark just goes. <laughs> I want to be like. He didn't bring the friends. It, no, he did not. Was it a message? Right, I'm assuming. It was sending, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'll do the song of my town. And then I'm going to be like. Before I leave, I just want to... Is everybody in the rooms? That's a lot of yelling. Uh, you've seen... I guess coming down the 
stairs, you would have seen Andrew and Juan running around. Um, I guess on my way down, I just want to be like, did you guys hear that? Huh? What? No, there wasn't a cat outside. It's a cat. No, don't. Mm -mm. Did you say cat? Did There's a cat? cat. No, I don't have a cat. Do you have a cat? Oh, it's a... <clears throat> you, you want to eat a cat? You want to? Lon, can you help me here? Yeah. Cats are not nourishing. They're furry. Oh, 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 that's the uh, compared to insects. Lot I'm just saying there are more <clears throat> there are better foods for you like rats oh you know where there are some rats rats are yeah, good gotta, for your immune system actually you gotta be extra careful if you go for the basement rats oh no no uh, I don't know you'd have to talk to uh, Rulik about that all you can eat. With this whole, like, these back two squares set up, it's like a little apartment. <laughs> for the rats. So, but, uh, but no, Merkham, we didn't hear anything. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna turn around and walk back down then. Walk on downstairs. And, cause I've completely being sidetracked at the moment. Okay. <laughs> Intelligence none. Merkham. Start talking about cats. <laughs> it's pretty hungry. Yeah, yeah. My intelligence is a negative one. And literally <laughs> one of my things is like, he is just fucking... Indeed. Wait, no, it is on par for character. Not your modifier. Your intelligence score is negative one. <laughs> uh... I bluntly say what other people are hinting at or hiding. Uh, really, you kind of hear the faint tapping of somebody walking down the stairs from your from your basement, Lily. I gotta yeah. pull that back in. I was getting very smeagolish. So what's it? We go check and see who's coming downstairs. I got the little cleaver thing. Off I just forward. sleep with that, by the way. My precious is rats. Right. You come out and you see uh, Markham walking down the stairs. <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm paying no attention. I'm still I'm playing with Artreus right now. He's on my shoulder. Like a little gamer. Um... Do I have more than just him? <laughs> you gonna eat that? It's <laughs> <laughs> just a little, little, little tray. I'm sure there's some oven here somewhere. We can, like, I don't know. We're taking all the right helmets. I'm gonna just give him a little questionable look and go back downstairs. <laughs> kind of interact in five seconds, go back downstairs. Basement. Yeah, pretty much. That's all. Basement dweller attitude. I want to go over there. I have doors. a Burger King. I have a Burger King crown on. Let's see if I can hear anything down there. Like not hear like scurrying or anything. Uh, coming over, it's it's a hatch to it. Um, you don't really hear anything. You hear like something, but you probably think it's just really walking around down there. Wow. Well, little does he know. Little does he know. It's about. No, the ten o'clock is uh, Gun Thack and Dwarren waking up. Can I smell that. Um, no. Wait, and... Why would I? Why would I wake up? Nothing came up to me. Yeah, unless someone comes to wake me up, I've I've received my yeah, message. Like I'm, I'm on the just... fourth floor, bro. Nothing came to me. No one. I'm actually no trying to go to back me. to sleep. You know, as I'm staring at this letter bird that flew in my window. Oh shit! I would need to wait. Yep, I need to go back up. Then I'm gonna, I guess, just realize that I didn't speak to them either. Yeah. As you start going up the stairs, you hear knocking at the door. Uh, Who's sure. At the front door. Yep. Right over here. Uh, 
Oh, what is that? Uh, do you recognize the voice? You hear it right here. Uh, is that you, little frog guy? Uh, Marvel. <laughs> uh, I brought a representative from the Fellowship of Innkeepers over. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Hold on, one second. So I want to run over to the stairs, then. I need to hop up as many hops and leaps and jumps I need to to get up, or I can just kind of yell at everybody. You should get to the door, because we established this a second ago. You have to walk past them <laughs> and then go around over here and go up the stairs, because the stairs are, like, outside the manor itself. Oh, oh, well, never mind. I'll be like, well, go ahead and have a soul. Uh, well, I'll, I'll get a bottle. Come in here, and... You see another fellow with him. It is a. You see a little halfling guy. He is. He's got big old mutton chops, bushy eyebrows. Uh. He just like smiles and. Do we have? Never mind. Sorry. Do we have? Uh. Um, kind of cut out there for me for a second. Who? I don't say do you have, and then yeah, it like faded. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I think he's talking to to his wife. Yeah, he's oh, okay. talking to Mama Man. Um, I guess I'm gonna run up here as quickly as possible and try to tell anybody they're here. Running up to the second floor. I'm Start. probably, realistically, depending on how these stairs are made, I am hopping and leaping off walls, stairs, walls, whatever I gotta do to quickly bounce my way up here. Well, it goes up to where, like, where Lawn is. It's like a little railing and stuff outside, then you go into the the hall itself, and then you have to go over here and go up the stairs that way. Okay. I'm gonna go up here and just pass by these guys real quick while I'm going up here and just being, telling them, just, well, I'm old, sir. Oh shit! It's very early in the morning, uh, or super it's late. It's ten at night. I misjudged. It's so dark out there. Oh, it's like nine in the morning. He said. He said it was early morning earlier. No, he said it was eight. It was like nine or ten at night right now. Yeah, he did. Didn't he? I thought he said it was nine or ten no. in the morning. Yeah, it's nine or ten in the morning. Oh, I think oh it was, shit! I think it was because he said whenever all the shit was coming, it was nine or ten in the morning. Goofy, you better get kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, no, if it's that time, <sighs> then Dorn would hopefully be trying to be up early because he wanted to make tea. And seeing that he overslept uh, past what he wanted to, blaming it on the note, takes the dagger. I would just be good. Uh, he okay. takes the dagger out of the note forcefully and they scatter on the ground and he picks him up angrily and puts him in his bag. Yes, I'm coming. I was just meditating in the morning, so, yeah. Into the day out, Markham runs up the top, tells everybody I've heard that the... the guys are here. What uh, I've heard, heard knocking. Yeah, you heard knocking, and you heard like people walking in. Okay. I'm getting on the counter. It's rising out of the basement. You get up on the counter. You feel like a gentle tap on your back. Is it? Is it? Is it Loth? Hmm? Leaf. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit on the counter. It's okay. He just keeps trying to push you. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna push him back. He pushes you onto a chair. No, he doesn't. He tries. <laughs> he, he can do it. You weigh less than 150 pounds. He can do it. I'm, I'm from he, he pushes you back. But you I've had 15 like off frames. Yeah, I give him some rope. Coming downstairs, you see you see mm -hmm. Rainier there. Uh, and you see oh, no, the, that's huge. The you short everyone. Little... Yeah, yeah, you ran up. I mean, there's about. bandages, but it's huge. Hmm? You we'll make conversation. Right? Sorry. Probably because of moving and stuff, but. So yeah, coming downstairs, you see the squat little halfling guy, big mountain chops. Yeah, he did. Just don't mess with the bandaging. Uh. He just looked at you guys. Hello! The name's Broxley Fairkettle. Broxley. Oh, 
Broccoli Fairy Castle, um, good to meet you. Uh, apologies for our tardiness. Yeah, quite all right. I know it is kind of yeah. early in the morning. Can I uh, fix you a drink? Do you guys have drinks right now? Well, as it uh, just so happens, and Ander walks behind the, the bar here, and he starts shuffling around, and he pulls out some glasses, and he turns around yeah, and walks up. Pipes that don't work, Just and then he, he walks over to the cabinet with no liquor stocked, and then he walks back and he goes, Yeah, so about that, we can't serve you any drinks. Hopefully, that's where I'll come in and help. You know, I am a re representative from the Fellowship of Bane Keepers. Uh, we got word that somebody was wanting to reopen mm -hmm. Troll Skull Manor. Uh, mm -hmm. We would love to have another. You know, tavern up through this way that are very few and far in between the North Ward. So, you know, if you guys join up, I can, I'll can i be here all the time, basically. Wow, that might be pretty good. That very might be nice. pretty good, you know, Let's especially considering the place is haunted. But uh, I think that maybe we should, you know, work on some stuff. Don't put it back. What? Huh? What? Was it one part next? I, I didn't hear anything. Be tight. Roll deception. <laughs> This one I want to say at disadvantage. Okay. It's called work, sir. Idle hands are the devil's road to good intentions. I know my hands are never idle. <laughs> Can we both do a system with a satron? No. Because, like, I truthfully don't believe this ghost exists. <laughs> no, and the fact that he saw Rulik really get picked up and put in yeah. a chair... I'm back, girl. Come on, remember? Like, all right. It, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, if anything, that might actually increase sales. Yeah. Ah. Warren's gonna like kind of grumpily you know, wander around the the tavern and trying to find something to begin making tea with. Mm -hmm. uh, as he as he does so, he's gonna talk to uh, to Brock. So, Brock, in your uh, professional opinion, do you think it would be most profitable or beneficial to uh, have this place uh, reopen as a tavern or rather convert it to some sort of dispensary or brothel? That's Brock's Lee. Oh, my apologies. Uh, I mean, taverns are probably the preferable thing around here. I mean, Waterdeep does have brothels, but I mean, they're kind of seedy and not really the best of quality. Well, that could be our thing. Maybe we have very, a very clean brothel, a very open and... Uh... Bleeding, I wonder if I did something to it. Well, I, I am not a representative from the Fellowship of Brothels. Just like... <laughs> Understood. Well, it's a thought anyway. I mean, you guys can have your own gimmick. But that's, that's all on you. Uh, but just... <laughs> I'm just trying to get this done expediently so you guys can get something open and we can mm -hmm. get to work on repairing this place. Sure, yeah, yes, let, let's place. let's do that. Uh, that would be best, I think. Just uh, I thought it was yeah, worthy uh, exploring the idea. Let's uh, uh, let's talk I'll terms. Walk, I guess not. I'll walk in. Uh, so, so he'll be like, we we do have some one-time expenses. That you know, you just pay them one time and that's it, and they're done forever. And you never have to worry about it again. But we do have like regular expenses for us, like having to find maintenance and the wages of the hirelings, uh, and just for all other guild expenses and stuff. Uh, do you want to hear the one time expenses first or the regular ones? Yeah, let's hear the one time expense. So this, I assume, is licensing and uh, administration. Copyright. Yeah, that, that's for the guild licenses and contracts, but there is a, kind of a steep one. He's like looking around, noticing the shape of the place. Uh, we might have to renovate the tavern just to make things expedient, get all the pops working back in order, and make sure you guys are just properly like set and there's nothing going to like kill you in the middle of the night. 
That's the expensive one. That's going to be about a thousand gold. Thousand gold, okay. And for the licenses and contracts, that's just 250 gold. So, we're taking we need out the most thousand gold for Reno, 250 gold for licenses. Do you by chance have a monthly contract to cover these dues, or is this say all up front? Or do you do, you do financing? Front. No financing. I'm I have good. I have good credit. <laughs> and how about the recurring fees? So those for. 50 gold per 10 day, which is a week. That is for the maintenance and the wages of the hirelings. You uh, say that's that's 10 gold? 50 gold. Or 50 gold. Okay. So, uh, 50 gold, gold weekly? Or... Yep. But if you guys have tavern, you're going to make money from it. Uh, the 10 gold per 10 day is just for all of the guild expenses. When he says you're going to make money on that, can I incite him? Yeah. Let's see how legit that sounds like. This place doesn't make shit, da da da, or maybe he's being legit. 11. Okay. Uh, I mean, he seems pretty truthful. And you guys have heard from, like, multiple people that there is no really other tavern around here in the North Ward, so you guys do expect that you would probably have oh, a lot of business. Oh, well, let me tell you this. What was your name again? Well, what? My name is Broxley. Broxley Fairkettle. Broxley Fairkettle. Tell me this, Broxley. What is it you're not telling us? How do you make money out of this? Is it just in the fees? There's no uh, value add for you? Sonny, I'm just a representative. I get the back end of everything. Uh, it's all to the guild. They handle everything. Um... There's nothing really in it for me. I just, man, I got nine kids. Well, Broxley, uh, let me see. I, I, I don't know if you're the person for this or not. Um, if you're not, that's fine. But what if the guild uh, m m made us a loan for 1,500 gold, we'll say, just approximately uh, over a 24-month period with 16% APR, paid monthly every uh, on the 23rd of the month? Stop. No. No. No? <laughs> okay. No. Uh, Rhaenyra will come over. That would gain you money, just so you know. <laughs> nope. I I'm really doing you a favor. No loans. Uh, <laughs> Rhaenyra comes over. <laughs> I can I can cover the, the big ones, guys. You guys it's Lon. Uh... Huh? What? Lon, not loan. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> you can cover the thousand and the two fifty. <clears throat> That's yeah. what you're saying. Well, that's, Just, uh, that's the same know, kind of my, I mean, you guys help me out. And you know, I'm not lacking for money or anything. Uh, just, I might have my friends come over and hang out with me every once in a while over here. If we could just have a little private room. Oh, of course. At that kind of person. Not a problem. What kind of friends? Uh, I think you guys will meet him soon. And you don't have to do air quotes with that. That's not very polite. And... Well, I've learned a thing or two, guys, in my travels, and that's when a man shows up and offers an insurmountable sum of money that we don't have in exchange for a small service. It's not a small service. Hope saved my friend's life. Yeah, I don't see the problem here. I will. I, mean, I can easily. Take I will. I will. Want it. I will. I. I will go with what the party wants. Can we get it oh. on a contract? Rainier handed over twelve fifty gold. Uh, Broccoli takes the money and is like, "Excellent, excellent." Uh, within twelve days, this place would be up and burning again. Yeah, so we have a little bit over a week then. I think it's enough to get our affairs in order. Yeah, so if you guys now, just... does the renovation itself, does that cover, that doesn't recover replenishment, correct? 
Oh yeah, they will replenish everything too. Like they will. Well, I think that's included that, in the fifty gold per ten day. Yeah. So the the guild contract, the two hundred fifty dollar one, that's or two hundred fifty gold. That's not just for like the the fellowship of innkeepers. That is for like the innkeepers, the vintners, the stealers and brewers, the guild of butchers. Uh, not these other. Okay, so basically it's covering to it's like various we'll kids, just yeah. have everything here. Okay. So in 12 days time we can open our tavern. Uh, he would say yeah, you should I'll have representatives from some of the other guilds come by here in the next few days. Uh, just keep an eye out for Hammond Craddock. He is the representative for the Vintners, yeah. Vintners, Distillers, and Brewers Guild. Radic. Uh, I think from the Guild of Butchers, there will be a Justin Rassic coming through. Or well, Mr. Timberlake. Well, they should be uh. in like, I don't know, a few days once they actually get the contracts lined out. Do we need a butcher? You want to sell food here, don't you? Yeah, I suppose. Meat don't grow on trees. Do we need someone from the uh, Baker's Guild? What about the meat trees? The Vegetable Guild as well? Trees. Walk us all you want, Sonny, but we run this town. I'm just purely jesting. That meant no offense. Uh, of course. Well, gentlemen... Nice to welcome you guys to the guild. You will definitely see me from here on out. Thank you, Mr. Voxley. We appreciate it. Voxley steps out. Rainier's like, I will see some of you guys tonight, maybe? What are you what doing, the, Grant? What the fuck is that sound? <laughs> Dude, well, somebody so is peeling out. <laughs> they're peeling. They're peeling out, but they're peeling out in a Hot Wheels car. You know what I mean? It like, <laughs> so, uh, so, I've got a tiny, I've got like a tiny, tiny, tiny little fan, but I just have going, and it just decided to kill itself. <laughs> and uh, apparently, that sounds like somebody using grapes as wheels. <laughs> <laughs> That, okay. Uh, Broccoli, Rainier, step out. You guys are business owners now. Holy crap, Lois. Where's the Fox Club? My father will be so proud. I, I believe, specifically, the three of us who purchased the place are the business owners. It's true. There are three people's names on it. That is sure. true. Where's your rent? Doing yeah, all of it. Grulik, Merkham, and Ander. Yep. Hey. Hey. Well, the More business owners. Was I successful DM in, in finding anything to make tea with in this building? Not really. I didn't think so. You might so. see like a, a rusted pail, like a little mop bucket kind of thing. That's about it. But I have an alchemist toolkit and an iron pot. He can use that to make tea. There you go. Rulik, thank you very much. Uh, I take the pot from him and uh, try to start something on the stove where I can heat water. Go back. <laughs> so I guess now we have You're to have a real conversation. What's that? I have a way to make fire. No. Uh. You're not, not going to oh, fucking yeah. believe this. <laughs> You're never going to. Ooh. So I was looking for something to make fire. I owe this man my life. He gave me six gold. <laughs> so you're burning down the end? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you, you guys can make like a little controlled fire. Like back in the Level nine fireball. Let's go. Follow up question, DM. Um, how much <coughs> of the uh, fever bomb did I get? Like how much? How many brews of tea can I make with it? Probably make about four or five good cups out of it. Okay. 
So yeah, I'm going to use enough for one cup, and I'm going to make myself a cup of fever balm tea. Make yourself a little cup of tea. You sit back there in the kitchen for a minute. So, Ooh. fellas, we uh, have to have a real conversation now about what we're going to call this place. We're going to run. Where did he named it? I thought. Are we doing it again? We well, uh, we temporarily called it the Silver Bar, but uh, we, there's also the suggestion of um, of uh, Esprit de Corps, and uh, I just I don't care. Okay, if I can't pronounce it, I don't think that's a good name. Oh, but it's fancy. Okay, but maybe, but maybe not Esprit de Corps, but maybe we could have a thematic name, one to um, allude to the existence of our friend Leaf. Leaf's rat. I mean, that was the point of the spirit decor. There's literally spirit and corpse in the verbiage if you pronounce it phonetically. I pronounce it phonetically. Sorry, was that too much too soon? Yeah. Phonetic. That's too big for me. Everybody roll history. Oh, yeah, I'm good at history. DM does. Sing! <laughs> Let's see. Where's my... Um, a hell of a historian. <laughs> history. Here we go. Bam. I'm eight years old, and I'm fucking shit up in history. Uh, D DM, does does my tea have any effect on me? What's your tummy? Hmm? You're a little bit more awake now. Well, here, let me just send this to you real quick. You are high as shit. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Wait, he's high now? Yeah, don't do nothing. Okay. You're not insane. Okay, it's always good to check. Hmm. Alright, uh... Mark and uh, Ball, you guys rolling history. While they're rolling still, um... Can I get the names again of the other two guild representatives? I have Hammond Raddick with Guild of Brewers, and then I have. Let's say that again. Raddick. It's it's just like that, but there's a K in the front. Okay. Uh, Raddick. And Rassick is the butcher. Justin Rassick. R A S S K. Is is it Justin? I missed the first name. Yeah, Justin. But it's with a Y instead of an I. Of course, he's a douche. Okay. <laughs> Jeff G O F F. <laughs> I actually like that spelling. G O F. G O F. All right. So they're, since they're not rolling, uh, Dewarn and Rulik, you guys remember Volo saying, "If you guys want to use specters and spirits, you can. It's not trademarked yet." As I said, my tea, I can't. Uh, I cannot truly express how much I do not care. <laughs> I mean, is that like, is there any historical significance to that name, or is that just like. That's what he was going to call his book, and this place would be selling spirits, booze, yeah. and the specter. Does he already have that book? No. He said he was. He bought this place. So he could try to get inspiration from Leaf. But he never went there. Yeah, I'm pretty indifferent, honestly. You hear us go say, fine, make up your own name. <laughs> I say that, we go with it. I, I like I I, I, yeah. I like my personal favorites are Silver Bar or uh the um Flippin. Flippin. The flippin. S Spectres and spirits. <laughs> the weird I feel like we should all vote on this. Say. Spectres and spirits. Oh, God. All right. Now I'm going to make roll 20. Roll a poll. Oh, I can do that. I will, it cannot. I, I will say the funny hat bearded man has said this shit. God. Alright, you guys just uh, 
whatever. I can't. I don't know what the fucking thing that Munson does whenever they do it on Munson's mansion, but just fucking hold on. It's probably not that good. Uh, I don't think they have a. Uh, I don't. I don't think he has a bot to do it. He's trying to yeah. devise a simple poll. Yeah, just heart whichever one you want. I will go ahead and say specters and spirits. Why not? Oh, that's uh, the wife does all the shit. I don't do it. It's funny. I will throw them in for specters and spirits as well. Fuck it. That's what funny yeah, hat man said. That's what Dewan really said. All funny man who pays for my shit says. While we're on the topic, um, do we need to decide on a group name? Uh, are we okay with what I randomly came up with? We're the specters. They're the spirits. Completely running with this name now. What? <laughs> what was the uh, uh, group name that you had devised again? Uh, Rats. Gulan. Uh, I have to re look it up here. Gulan Ramoan. It's, what does that mean? It's just it's all of our names. parts of our names mashed together. Uh, it, technically, the whole thing was Gulan Ramulan Pride. Um, it could be basically a group name or an alias any one of us could use if we were in a, a change your name situation. Mm, that's actually kind of clever. I like that. Can like, you uh, type like, it out? Yes. And then put it in the box for G Money to put game stuff. And we'll put a heart there and decide if that's. So I guess when you're drunk, it'd be funny to say. Good <laughs> <laughs> No, God. <laughs> no. Stop. <laughs> goodness. Um, Ander offers the name Cookie Cutters, and everybody's like, man, we've heard about those guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie Cutter? Uh, I'm not going to say it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you've, uh, you've heard of them, but I, there's this group that's called uh, something about uh synonymous synonymous something like that and it's just like the one word that's very uh interchangeable and it's uh it has a very catchy thing to it i think that the, the gulam could have something similar i think all of us could be gulam hmm. Hmm. i'm up for the suggestions i just wanted to throw something out there to have it on paper mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna go with the first one. Alright. Mark and be still with us. I have not heard Mark in a while. Nope. Marco. So we all call him individually. <laughs> We've <laughs> done that before. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did that last time. Uh, I'm there we go. Okay. Merkham, do you have any input on either the uh, the tavern name between Silver Bar or Spectres and Spirits, or uh, do you have any suggestions for our group name if we have to identify as a collective? That's too much at once. Apparently. No, the 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 Xander Zone is the boss room. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, uh. I kind of like sparkles and spirits. Okay, that seems to be the unanimous then. And the end. And then what was uh, what was that one you came up with? The uh, Gulan Remu one. Ah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, we're the rats. I've already written it down crudely on paper. I've double fished about pencil, dude. Come on. 
All right. Well, I guess that's the uh, the working titles then for now, anyway. <laughs> Should we have uh, given this information to the gentleman who's doing the contracting or anything? Or is that for later? I th there's probably going to be the when the maintenance crew comes in to fix and add things in. I'm sure they'll be adding in the, the billboard or the writing on the door. What's the name of the place? If they don't put a billboard on the door, that'd be ineffective. Yeah. We will want to make sure we do remind them um, that, or you know, they may end up re-registering it under the old name. Yeah. They didn't say anything specific about that. They kind of figured that it'd give you some time to adjust the name. We had twelve days. Yeah. Well, we had twelve days. Well, that's taken care of, and I'm gonna sit down my empty cup. I guess I will be on my way to try to find some harpers. Is it gonna be coming with, or are you staying and doing your own thing uh, with your own different groups? I've heard mention of the emeralds. So where did we hear about the names of the other guilds before? I know you posted them. Is that just that common knowledge? It was uh, Rainier told you guys that the autumn? Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. Mm -hmm. I also want to sell the Harpers just because. And just to remind everybody, uh, Ander had been contacted and told whoever wanted to meet with Emerald Enclave to come with, come to. Falcomir, or whatever the fuck that name is. That's uh, it, yeah. Oh. The Warren Good. got a little paper bird with tickets to go to the, the what the fuck is it, the Lot Singer Theater. And Merkham had got a message telling uh, him and his friends to come to Blackstaff Tower at once. Was that the only one that got that? Yeah, we already missed the at once, so. Yeah, there we are. Uh, oh yeah, um, there was a guy in my head earlier that said we gotta come to the tower. That sounded kind of important. Uh, the, the one kind of stops walking. I don't know, it was a person in my head, so I wasn't really paying attention to if it was a boy or Oh, that, yeah, that reminds me, I've, I received tickets last night via some sort of Magical Messenger. Uh, we have six tickets to the opera. Um, does it say what, what date it is on there or anything? Is it tonight or? Yeah, it was tonight. Was tonight. And the formal yeah. attire must be uh, worth the warning. Yep. So uh, the black tower was right away. The opera was tonight. And a couple of us were invited to the enclave. Yes. Yeah, just whatever. So. <laughs> I'm now. I'm torn. Do we go to Merkham's uh, missive, even though we're late, or do we ignore it? Do we know anything about the Black Tower or whatever? Uh, Ander would what? like to, I guess, what uh, roll a history check or, or something, because yep. he's he's been around Waterdeep before. Yeah, I guess I've been I've been there a few months, so I guess I would hear the name. I guess I'll do a roll. Yeah, nice. I'm one less smarter than you. But <laughs> higher. Uh, you guys know that Blackstaff Tower is the like the home of the resident like protector mage of the city. Or it's like a name that goes down like a line of people that become like the black staff uh, it, I mean it's it's a foreboding looking tower that just stands off by itself in the Waterdeep's castle district um, oh jeez Merkham that place is kind of creepy how far from here would you say it would be uh, that's a good question. Let me pull up the map here. Dun, 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 dun. Zoom in, please. Oh, this is not a high-fidelity map. Yes, it is. Let me zoom. 
Give me the zoomies. Castle <laughs> war. You went to Oh avenue? shit! How do I? S well, yeah, it's in the uh, it's in the game materials oh, underneath. Okay. It says "Welcome Traveler." That's a that's a full blown map there, but uh, Castle Ward. So we are. Oh shit! We're kind of centrally located, guys. Yeah. I cannot zoom these. Mm. Well, we'll just go back. I'll take you guys to the map page. To the map them. So yeah, the Black Staff Tower is like right over here. Ah, shit. Right over here. Mm. And where are we at currently? You guys are right over here. Can I get that again? Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we were down. Nope. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> we're, we're on the other side. This is the one on the Well, um, Mark, when did they, this person message you like last night in the middle of the night or this morning? Well, this morning. Oh, then we're, we then we're not too late. We should probably tidy up on that then. Does anyone know? Is this building important? I, I I don't frankly know what it is. Uh yeah, there's a there's a mage or something that lives up there. A, uh, kind of a scary dude. It's a title gets passed around. Oh well, that's not uh, you know, piss off a mage or something. A personal invitation. Yeah, we definitely won't want to piss him off if he's uh, half as imposing as the rest of his uh, get up there at the Black Tower. Yeah, if he's asking us to show up, I would say we should be headed. Well, I'm game if anyone else is. Yeah. Here, here. However, I think on our way we should collect our items from the blacksmith. Mm, indeed. And actually, I think I'm going to leave my, uh, my chest here today. I'm feeling a little encumbered. Yeah, you are. Alright, so you guys making your way towards Black Staff Tower? Uh, yeah. Well, so. market area first, like just down the street so we can get our weapons and stuff first. Yeah. I want to go to Steam Steel first, if we could. Yeah, you guys, as you're leaving, you stop by Steam and Steel, uh, Inbrick and Avi are like, We got your stuff done, guys. It took us all night, and we're going to go to fucking sleep, but we got it. Yeah. Hell yeah! You guys are too kind. Thank you, Ambrick. I just sat here mostly. <laughs> it took us all night. Both of us. I swear us. It was, he did it all. I, I lied. I don't know how to work a fucking blade to save my life. Ambrick, <laughs> well, you are a true man of the people. I do. Good night. Um, <laughs> they just shut the door. Pretty I'm going to quickly uh, we'll try not to burden the group. Uh, sorry guys, if you could regard me for one moment, I'm going to run into the bookstore that I saw yesterday. And I want to run in there to see something real quick. Excuse me. Going back to the Buckworms treasure, uh, opening the door, inside you see the shop is decorated with beautiful hardwood and the earthly scent of old books permeates the air. The library fills two floors of this three-story building, and it somehow seems to contain more shelves than the building should be able to hold. Uh, looking in, you see a short dragonborn, gold. He's got like little glasses on. Oh! Hello Welcome. there. Welcome to the Bookworm's Treasure. Thank you for welcoming. Uh, my name is DeWarren. Um, what is your name? I didn't catch it. Brishel. Brishel. Brishel, wonderful Brishel. to meet you. Uh, Brishel, I have... Brishel. Uh... Gee, it's Brishel with an R. Oh, m pardon me. Your accent. Brishel, uh... <laughs> uh, I have uh, three paintings that I have come across in um, in storage. And I was hoping to, if you could uh, let me know if these are worth anything. 
and I'm going to take out all three of the paintings and gently unfurl them as best I can and put them on the counter in front of them. They had the frames in the back of them? No, they weren't, no, they did not. They were kind of damaged and I had to remove them as best I could. I, sh I should still be able to give you some money for them, uh, but I will have to take a little bit off just for the state that they're in right now. Oh, that's understandable. Yep. Oh, well, well, kill what, what, what are they worth to you? Just a couple of times. Uh, I give you about fifty gold a piece for them. Mm, that's good. Um, uh, do you have anything maybe in the the store that I could trade for to maybe get some more value out of them? Uh, looking around, you see tons of books. Uh, in addition, he'd be like. I also have a small collection of spell books, and I, I got some. I can get some little spell scrolls. Um, spell books wouldn't really be my forte. However, do you, uh, can anyone use a spell scroll? I'm not quite educated. You can. I think you have to be able to know how to cast magic, though. Use it. Hmm. Interesting. I'll, I'll uh, gander about if I could. Uh, is most everything laid out? Uh, you just see tons of books. Uh, yeah. He says that he can, mm -hmm. he can transcribe like spells on a spell scroll. Uh, for twenty-five gold, he can do comprehend languages, detect magic, featherfall, find familiar, mage armor, magic missile, shield, and unseen servant. Okay. For uh. seventy-five gold, he can do. Arcane Lock, Continual Flame, Dark Vision, Invisibility, Magic Weapon, Misty Step, Rope Trip, and Suggestion. <coughs> okay. For 150 gold, he can do Clairvoyance, Counterspell, Dispel Magic, Fireball, Blah, Non-Detection, and Water Breathing. Can you use a scroll as a reaction? No. Then why would Counterspell matter? <laughs> Oh, I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> um, um, let's see what else. Oh, never mind. He charges twice that. So the 25 ones are 50. 75 ones are 70, or 150. The, the third one's 150. They're 300. But if you had a spell book, you would just put that in there for that much. Gotcha. I am not going to take up a lot of time because my friends are outside waiting and I feel incredibly rude. Um, do, glancing through the mon the books, do I see anything that sticks out in my brain just at a glance, sweeping across the shelves? Looking around, it is just a mixed box of different books in there. Nothing really like sticks out. Probably if you like took time to like actually go through and look, but okay. Um, I'll tell you what. Um, Rachel, I'm, a little, I'm in a little bit of a hurry today. Let's just go ahead and uh, turn... I'll show you the paintings now, and I'll probably have to come back and do some business with you. Fair enough. I'm always here. Excellent. Thank you, sir. So that's 150 for the three. All right. One. Uh, months and you can go to bed, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for the interaction to finish before I jumped in. <laughs> Walking out, uh, Warren joins the group. So sorry, guys. Uh, I just had to uh, turn some loot. Sorry, guys. I'm calling it for the night. All right, dude. Thanks for playing. Thanks, buddy. Yep, yep. Thanks. Try to feel better, buddy. Get some rest. Oh yeah, we'll see how sleep goes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck to you. Yeah. Bye. Who the hell did we just lose? Who? Yeah, who did we lose? Oh, that was Monk Boy. Oh, yeah. No. Probably thought we were ending. I'll <laughs> 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 see y'all later. What a ding dong. You better, you better all call him. Oh, well, I'm going to tag him here in a second. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> see you, bud. See you. Not bad. Uh. So, getting back to the group, uh, Gunthack is like, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I'm going to go back to. Uh, the house for a little bit. Tell me what happens. But my computer shit itself. I'm ahead. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah. I thought you were just like, all right, we're going, we're stopping. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I think it's just because I don't have an official version of Windows. Don't tell God I'm sitting against Bill Gates. But <laughs> you are literally being recorded right now. You're going to tell yeah, that fine. fucking Bill Gates. I'll tell that to all six mm-hmm. of his Apologize to your overlord. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's okay. It's, 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 so, in, in all fairness, our last version of Windows was legit, and my motherboard fucked itself, so I had to get a new one. And, uh, uh you know? I mean, it's, anyway, it's, so it's, occasionally, once every few months, it will just kill itself. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I tried to do two things at once, and it was like, oh, wait a second. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Anyway, carry on. That's all. All right, so uh, Dwarren headed out of the shop. Uh, Gunthak was like, I'm actually, I don't feel so good. I'm going to go back to the tavern, maybe watch it for a minute. So you guys, the rest of you, are on your way to Blackstaff Tower, I see? Yes. Let's go. Mark and Juan, you guys still here? Come on. Anyone? Yep. There he yep. is. Hello. Hello. Hey, bro. What happened? Have you got blue? Oh, yeah. Pretty important. So, you guys go by, get all your weapons. Uh, in D and D Beyond, I'm pretty sure you can go to like edit and make a weapon like uh, silver that way. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I think you can do that with weapons. And then for ammo, you it's a little sadly D and D Beyond is kind of lacking. There's some open forums to get the same feature added, but uh, it's not happened yet. Your best bet would be to customize your ammunition if you're silvering just, ammunition. Yeah, just do that. But I would keep track of those because. Those ain't just gonna like replenish in your little thing. Um, you guys are walking through the town. I assume Markham's there. He might be asleep, but him being there, it kind of like he somehow knows the quickest way to get through the alleys and streets through uh, Waterdeep, leading you guys to the Blackstaff Tower itself. Let me put it. We were walking through the town. There we go. Yeah, Black Staff Tower all the way over here. As you guys are just going through the the different courtyards uh, and districts and stuff, you see like a lot of people like racing right now. Like racing? Yeah, having big street races. Super racist. Yeah. That is because it's the festival of the. What the fuck is it called again? Burning Man. Excuse me. It is the plowing and the running. The plowing and the running. You just see foot races, horse races, chariot races, just all throughout each of the districts or each of the wards. But making your way towards Blackstaff Tower. Uh, it's too much right now. It is a little wet. It's okay. Just, just <laughs> Walking up, you see that the tower is like not just a tower. It looks like a fortress. Like it is. It is fucking stacked, built to the bones. Let's I go. Have, I have a handout to give you guys. <laughs> um, I'll find some. I'll find some to show you. But uh, walking up, you see like tons of mages everywhere. You see like wizards out there practicing spells, uh, having like little mock duels and stuff. Um, walking, walking up, you see like a 
a guard, like not really dressed like a mage or anything, but he's got like metal armor and stuff like that. Uh, walking up. You guys got business here. I've heard of the frog. Frog. <clears throat> frog. Mm hmm. You're at Black Staff Tower. Yes, and there's a bunch of mages around, and one of them has approached us and asked us, what are we doing here? And so we've all now chosen to look at you. Um, did that person say their name? No. They didn't? Oh, the, the person that messaged you, yeah. They said they are Vodra Sopra. Vodra Sopra? <laughs> These names, dude. Um, I got it. I got it. We're good. We're good. Uh, yeah, some some guy sent uh, something in my hood. His name is uh, 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 Avala Cadavra. <laughs> Avala Cadavra. But I, I, something like that. Matt, I promise it's, it's it's not you. It's just this game. If you wanted to, you can just type the names as you say them in like the chat or something. I'm I am i am terrible for it. I can't. Uh Vahara yeah. well, The the guard will look annoyed and just be like, Vadra Safra. They must have messaged you. <laughs> <laughs> like, he'll point appointed sort lady that is the lady mage of Waterdeep. Uh Holy old mage Batman, there's so many magic people. Crap once. Do, have I heard of this person before? You can roll history. The old mage? You'd better have. Probably not. Nope. Uh, he says, yeah, just walk back there. And he'll like, point towards like the big tower itself. We're just going in. Okay, let's go around here. Yeah, let's go on in there. Well, let's go, Shed. Let's get on in there. Do let's one. get on up in there. Let's get her done. The one will try to be the last in the in the building, like take up the rear. As you guys say, get the frog. The one you hear that guard saw super heavily. Like, oh, God. <laughs> uh, but you guys walking in, you see like, like, the stone kind of looks like obsidian like it's super dark like everything inside is like super dark you see like ornate like red uh rugs lining the road the uh, floor um walking in you see a let me see do they actually have a fucking picture of her over here see guys look at all this shit told you all please give me creeps i don't like it You see this lady? Hmm. Real young looking. Like, probably younger than half of you guys. Uh, but she sees you guys walk in. She says, Welcome. I am Vajra Safar, the Black Staff. We have, uh, we've heard some promising things from a couple people around the uh, city that you guys have helped out. Rainier and Ember. Ember. Yeah, we worked with them. Yes. Yeah, if you guys would like, I can offer you membership into the Grey Hands. The Grey Hands? Mm. Like the buzz. The Grey Hands, huh? Yeah, they're a private security force under my command. Yeah, why don't you tell me about this private security force? Make it a little less private. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. My lady, I cannot speak for everyone. I can only speak for myself, but I am currently on a personal mission, and I believe that the Harpers might hold the best interest for me. I do not wish to have any conflict there. So, uh, so, 
So in, yeah, that, in that regard, no. I think I must decline your offer, unless the, you would think the the, uh, the the Greys would play uh, accordingly with the Harpers. Really. Uh, that's actually a good question. Yeah, how how do all you factions play along? I mean, we're we relatively peaceful with each other. Uh, relatively, relatively, like we have like we we allow them because I mean this is Waterdeep. This is our city. We allow them here. Uh, but you know, everybody's got their own agendas, like. Two people or two groups might, you know, be good, but they're always up to their own end goals. Like, if at the end of the day it's one, them or the other, then they're going to choose the other or them. Mm -hmm. You know, the the Harpers are good people. You know, they're just okay. a little bit spread thin sometimes. Other than the gracious author, is there any other reason that you called us here today? Yes. What about what? What about any of the rest of us? Maybe I want to join the Greys, huh? Hey, if you, if the offer is to everybody. If also, you to, you can... it might be worth sharing. I don't want to join the Greys. Fair enough. <laughs> you are in no inclination to to join or anything. Now, if any of you are magic casters, I would try to get approved by the. Okay, Every goddamn second, I have to. <laughs> the other guys. Uh, I would try to arrange a meeting with the watchful orders of mages and protectors. They, they keep tabs of like anybody that can cast spells throughout the city. <clears throat> so. uh you got to register with them if you're magical or it is in the best interest to do it I see also like by them being protecting and orderly they mean like protecting the order of whatever sort of monarchy there is and whatever yeah. the fucking, I assume it's like case coins and all fucking presidents and shit, but also, I could be lucky. Kind of like, I don't know, they don't really like go out and protect like, important nobles and stuff like that, because that's what the Lord's Alliance will do. They, they oh, yeah. keep tabs of all that. They do like, shit <laughs> that like, the city guard can't like, take care of. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm reading here about, uh, in the, in the game stuff, uh, for the Force Grey, and it says that uh, usually um, retiring members of the city watch or the city guard are eligible to join, um, but characters who are willing to swear an oath of uh, fealty to defend uh, water deep, its citizens, and the laws within, they can also join, as long as they're willing to take that oath. The, the warren is going to gesture very gingerly towards uh, Anders' hair. I think you've already joined the Greys, my friend. Haha, uh -huh, that's very funny. Well, I was going to say when you get older, you'll you'll understand, but uh, I don't think you will look much different when you're older. <laughs> I should only hope I grow to be that old. Well, if nobody is interested in joining, I mean. You guys are free to leave, but if anybody does think about it, you know, my doors are usually open. Just don't join any other group, or I'll figure it out. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Your offer was very kind, and we appreciate your, your gesture. I'll cause trouble in the city, or I'll find out also. <laughs> uh, Nary a thought. But if there is anybody... That's magical. <laughs> you guys are leaving. Mm -hmm. Seriously, sign up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys leave Black Stuff Tower. Uh, anything else you want to do? I guess uh, mm, the... the one thing about the, the opera? Okay. The opera isn't until later tonight. 
Um, but Lon and Andrew, do you guys remember getting the Emerald Enclave in the Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can check that out anytime. Yeah, there's no top one. Just come join us or come meet us at Top Premier. Okay. So if y'all would like to uh when what was what about for cause you know and i english has lost it's gone from my brain and for uh sorry. i just got mush in between my ears fellas i'm getting older that's funny you guys hung out for with ander for like two days but it's only like the past day or so that he's got this weird accent now yeah i know right <laughs> where did that come from Old age finally catching up to it. Well, I kind of want to switch mind to like British. It's okay. <laughs> Do it, dude. Well, it won't be a beer. All right, it won't you guys be leave a We're probably gonna call it because I think everybody's getting tired, and I've not heard Merkham or Lawn. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I figured I figured Merkham might would be the one that would be <laughs> interested in joining. Yeah, sorry, I'm like sick, so I'm just like involved when necessary. Very good, but yeah, I know that my Hot Wheels a great car. But yeah, we'll we'll call it there. You guys awesome. are walking out. It is the what's the fucking the date actually. Mm. I didn't get to kill no shit. It is the seventh of Myrtle. Seventh of Myrtle. Now, yep. a week here is called a ten day. Is that because it's ten days? Yes. Yep. Okay. Every month <laughs> has every month is like technically like three weeks, but they're all ten days apiece, and there's still like twelve months in the year too. Except okay. for Fortuary, which is twenty eight days. They all have got fucking weird names. 2.75, 10 days. But yeah, oh. next time we play, oh. you guys have a couple invitations to some various factions. Uh, you guys have already got the tavern renovated and getting some getting some people coming through. And we're level 3 already, uh, that's crazy. No. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit! Thank you, man. Oh my god. Wow, man, level three, dude. That's awesome. Thanks so much for level three, dude. I'm gonna do so much with level four. I can't believe he's given us level five like that. Such a good GM. Oh, no. Deep powered. What a, what a generous, <laughs> generous DM. Holy shit, guys. But no, uh, next game, uh, we'll get some stuff done. Yeah, that's good. And I'm rich again. Yay. <laughs> Money. So, uh, are we coming down for the grand opening of Petco down here? Fuck no. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Fuck no. That's crazy. I think, I'm going uh... to a different store. Listen. Oh, I, I was just going to... Um tell Matthew that I think that Anders Popsicle is uh, is in fact a bloodhound. Okay. So it's a girl bloodhound. Bloody hound. Right. We will definitely remember